Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. It's time for some free-for-all games. So firstly, let us begin by firing up a match here. Custom, great game. I think we're going to start with a King of the Hill match. I think so. It's always a fun one. Makes for some really epic endings and uh, those holds up on the sacred are always pretty cool. So firstly, let's go to the game mode. Although do we want to start with an island? <clears throat> Let's actually put it to a poll. All right, so do you guys want to start poll, a map, a king of the hill, or islands? All right, let me know what you guys want for the first game. Um, we'll give it a minute. I know there's not too many people here yet, so we'll see. And let's open up the lobby. All right, so let's see if it fills up. The game is public, officially. You got Quill, Bobo, Patty, Whisper, Uravity, Karsik Yeti, and one more to go. We're gonna do like probably both of them. It's just a matter of which one we open with here. So, looks like most of you guys want King of the Hill out of the gates. 25 votes on that bad boy. Did your last match give you an appreciation? Yeah, Ottomans are pretty good. Ottomans are pretty awesome for sure. All right, so you guys want King of the Hill for the first game. So let's fire that up and get that going. And let me find it. King of the Hill, King of the Hill. Yes. There it is, all right. <laughs> Death to your avity. Oh man, they're, they're starting in on them already, eh? All right, so we're gonna go Roos. I think Roos are pretty good on King of the Hill. Uh, you have the wood line, which you can get some really, really nice hunting cabins with. Whoa, Islands takes over all of a sudden. Okay, so we're going back to Islands. Oh, come on. Are you guys trolling me? <clears throat> I feel like you always vote 50-50 just to mess with me. Like, you just vote against whatever it was. All right, so it looks like we want Islands. We want Migration. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, like a little bit of those Continental, um, Volcanic Islands, um... Okay, King of, the, King of the... I'm just ending it. King of the Hill has won. We're, we're doing King of the Hill. We'll do an island map next game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're, we're fine. All right, so we got what appears to be two or three... Oh, man. Yeah, Roost players being picked. Um, there's a lot of Roost. Let's just go English. There's no other English players. Yeah, let's, let's fire up the English. All right. The old English. Going to be trying to get some... Uh, Reveal on, on elimination, sure, we can do that. Allow observers, I know we usually like that. And then reveal on elimination, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Settings all set. It's over island. Don't worry, we're doing an island Good game luck. next. Have fun. I think islands are super fun. Like all the landing forces and, mm. and big naval battles. I think it makes for a great time. Gonna hit people do host. No, we're gonna, we're gonna come at them with the bangers and mash here. So we had two roost players already. You can see the two Conqueror players are playing Roos. Um, th the reason being is Roos is really broken on this map. You can chop into your lumber line and build a high trade house and get like so much gold per minute. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, I'm gonna go English, just keeping it simple. Just build some farms, you know, live our best life. And hope that we have a nice little corner position and not a sandwich. Yeah. It's good times, man. It's good times. Pwn, Pwn you wanna play? No, you don't. Stop teasing me, dude. Pwn, if you actually want to play, dude, we could do a Team FFA game. We could go on the islands and be the, the Corsairs of the Seven Seas. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. All right, so myself on English, Whisper on Roos, uh, Patty on French, Bobo on Holy Roman Empire, Quill on Delhi, Uravity on Roos, uh, Yeti on Ottomans, and Professor Finbar on the Chinese. Last couple players loading in here as we get ready for the next match. One of the new saves playable. A couple weeks, actually. What is it? Um, November 14th, I think, is when the expansion comes. Very excited for that. It's going to be fun. <laughs> love me farms. Love me gold. <laughs> love me longbows. Yeah. Simple as. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's definitely very apt. I'll make my return when Japan comes out. Perfect. Dude, the ultimate 3v3 team that can never be defeated would be me, Gunhound, and Pwn. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Imagine, imagine the, the world trembling. All right. Hey, Tal, thank you for becoming a channel member. All right, so we don't have a good spot, unfortunately. We're kind of in a, a bit of a central position. Not too worried about finding these. All right. All right, so let's head this way. Yeah. Finding some sheep, and we want to deny deer because there are roost players here. There's several of them, and they're very good players. So we actually, we actually do want to deny those. You know what's weird is you always think the uh, the Thunderdomes are going to be 
Okay, let's see. Oh, look at the deer denial, baby. Still got it. You're gonna have to work for this one, Yravity. Oh, it's an even duel. Got it. Oh, I'm denying all the deer. <laughs> Not this one, though. He's oh, oh, I got every single one. <laughs> oh, he denied all the deer. Oh, he's probably gonna hit. He's probably gonna come for me with a vengeance now. Oh, he's missing this other deer camp here too. Oh man, we just, we just, we just got him nice and good, guys. Quill has four TCs, probably. We're probably gonna die to your avidity. Well, we're playing Anglin, so we'll be fine. I be, uh, I've been, I've been playing some one v ones. I feel pretty confident in my holding abilities. Um, all right, let's get on wood. Pure evil, dude. Well, he's got the corner as Ruse. I mean, he's going to be much stronger than, uh, than position-wise than I am. That's for damn sure. Tree line is pretty far away there. We can come for, yeah, this one here, I guess. All right. So let's go up in the middle, see what we can find. Can't let the Ruse just do whatever they want, you know, become these dark tyrants. Uh, I'm probably going to go 2TC with White Tower, is what I'm thinking. Um... Fast castle for English. Like, yeah, getting relics isn't too, too big of a deal, so. No, the corner is here and here is what I'm talking about. Yeah, those are those are like the prime time positions. All right, we need to bring these sheep back or else we're going to run out. <laughs> Your avenue just left? What? What? Why? Was it because of the... It couldn't have been because of the denial, right? Uh, Did he restart or did he leave? I don't know. Well... Uh, keep playing. Yeah, we're gonna keep playing because um, it's it's hard to get the same people back in the lobby, and I think it would be unfair if we restarted if some of the same people didn't get back in. Your avidity, you can join the next game, man. Your game closed. Okay, no worries. Just join the next match. As a matter of fact, you can you can host the next match. It's fine. All right, so we're going for the wood line over there. Oh shit, I might have pulled a little bit too early there. Alright, well, whatever. Sloppy build order. Alright. You got it, Gravity. You're all good, man. We'll get you in the next one. I, it's, it's always an, a, just a pain restarting and trying to get the exact same crew of people in. It's just, um, yeah, no, you feel bad. Alright, do we want to take these deer down? Yeah, there's still plenty of roost players on the map, so let's do that. Uh, I French. I'm, I like I like playing French. Yeah, I have nothing against playing French. I think they're pretty fun. Work end day. You never know. Sometimes you can get those early raiders coming to troll you. So uh, I'm gonna just set up an early tower here, which might seem a little bit potato, but I think it makes sense. All right. So we got the stone patch over here, and uh, let's go ahead and start grabbing some stone. Bobo reaching the next stage. There's only one Roost player now. Let's see who our neighbor is down here. We're definitely just going to go 2TC, though. There should be somebody in this corner, right? All right. Oh, I guess not. Okay, that's weird. Oh, yeah, okay. There, there. there we are. Okay, so we got the uh, Deli. It's Quill. And then we should have your uh remains up in the top here. So let's go do a big scouting run there. So you finish that tower, do this. And we can, well, we probably don't need to make any Strelbora. Okay, everybody aging up literally at the exact same time. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Yeah, the Order of the Dragon looks cool. Oh man, I'm so excited. You should let us vote for your Avity's faction next game. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna host the next lobby, so... We're thinking of doing an island map, your Avity, so if you if you want to figure out what map you would like to host, something something on the water. Alright, so we see Whisper here. Uh, I gotta punish this. This is just too greedy. He's just running right past me. Alright. Each 
Okay, let's keep hustling up this way. I ran out of food there, so I had to get a little bit <laughs> creative. <laughs> yeah, got the OP corner spot for Roos. Sad times, I know. I know, I can see your scout here. Yeah, Roos in the corner with the uh, that landmark is just brutal. I don't expect early aggression. Delhi's probably just going to do some shenanigans. Try and rush for a castle and get the relics, right? Alright, cool. So the farm should be fully operational. Our food income should be stable from here on out. Let's go see what else is going up on in the corner. Any link to the Discord group? Yeah, somebody in chat should be able to hook you up with that. I think Gunhound's in chat, so... Should be all good. And uh, we do want to get a little bit more on gold. Yeah, here we are. Down here. So we can at least get the wheelbarrow. Alright, almost have enough stone. Just need to get a tiny bit more wood and we should be okay. We went with early farms. Um, are they not all being worked? Doesn't look like it. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now we got the full farm build going. Keep one on gold. And um, we could just do a very conservative farm, like very defensive, or TC. Okay, here's the OP corner roost spot. Our placement isn't that good, actually. No, I don't think it's amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, slap the base up here. Okay, heading back down. Make a couple Strelbora. Do we need to? Probably not. We can pump them out so quickly. Quill is just sitting here with um, with his guy, which is making me a little bit nervous. Making me think maybe he's going to attack or something. I don't know. We need to we need to scout him a little bit better. See if, see what his plans are. His, his designs. Okay, 150 gold should have enough in a second. I'm just making a couple longbows just to be safe. Alright. I see you doing this. Okay, so I see a little bit of funny business. Why why are you like this? I'm just gonna lose all these guys. Why, Quill, why are you like this? Why this, huh? You're just gonna lose a bunch of shit? Alright. What the hell is this? Attacking me with a couple uh, horsemen here. Interesting. Okay, so I think I lost one villager and all that, and he lost one vill too, so it's not a huge deal. Alright. What is with this er this weird early FFA aggression we've been getting lately, huh? Okay, so we're gonna need some more resources here. You guys just go up there, you go up here. Okay, let's garrison up. Okay, we have the tower coming, should be alright. Cool. We're gonna need more food soon, though. It's very weird. Alright, so we'll do that for now. Um, let's just get more farm build going. And we do this. Keep massing Strelbora. It's trolling my resources for some godforsaken reason. And we should be able to pick off that worker there. Cool. So that's going to slow that shit down. And uh, yeah, he's he's just doing weird feudal trolling. Very strange. Well, so far we've, I would say, stifled the pressure pretty well. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been too devastating. Okay, so we got our Strelbora here. I don't think we can outrange that tower. But yeah, all is good in the neighborhood for now. Yeah, I don't know. He towered my gold, I guess. Yeah, it's fine, though. We're just going feudal farm build. We're going to be slightly behind on Castle Age, but we're going to have a pretty bomb eco, and I do have my longbows and everything, so I'm feeling pretty good there. Yeah, I mean, the trading didn't go good for him. Uh, that's for sure. He lost a lot more than I did. I think, can I outrange this tower? So the range is... Yeah, I don't think I can. 
No, he's actually targeting the units, yeah. So we would need some at arms or something. He does have troopers nearby. I don't know if he's gonna like try and ramstein me or something. But regardless, should be fine. And you know, nobody's gonna find this. That would be that would be just a straight up stream snipe with somebody if he appeared there. Uh, all right. So let's get that. Get the food going. We have a nice English farm economy going. And now we just get a white tower and go to the next age, basically. That's basically what we do, and we just build up farms while we're doing it. Okay, Castle Age is being reached by several players. Looking good there. Get that. We can poke out a little bit. Don't know what kind of a military we got here. Oh, hello, okay. That is a big ass military, Jesus. I wonder what the uh, aggression is about here. Okay, let's get back here. Lost a lot of our longbows, but hopefully we're still alive. White Tower is going to come down. I don't think he's Ramsteining me. He's got a big feudal military, though. Very big. Alright. So let's gather up. That was uh, unfortunate. We shouldn't have pushed out. Get you guys do this. Like he's staying in feudal pretty hard. But yeah, we gotta we gotta be careful. We do have the tower, which is good. Yeah, Delhi Delhi can be decent actually. They're not like amazing, but Delhi's got some tricks, hundred percent. All right, so we got the farm bill operation going with good farming eco. The tower's still poking us. We lost a couple Strelbora on the way. Um, just going to be saving up mostly now. Farmville round 10 is coming. People, our castle just slowed down from the aggression. Perhaps building rams, maybe. Could be the case. I'd be really surprised for a ram all in. I mean, yeah, he would probably kill me, but he would fall behind and I could probably run up into the corner and build a landmark too. And survive. It would be ugly, but we could survive. Alright. Yeah, he's building rams. Okay. Okay, let's do this. The white tower, build that here, build that here. And then you guys need to set up some more of these. One, two, three. Yeah, so he's coming there, but we're gonna get the white tower here in a second. And then we just start spamming out the men at arms. Yeah, okay, this is fine. We're just gonna lose some stuff on the periphery, no problem. It's a little bit annoying. White tower's coming up. Let's get some of you guys back on the wood. Get the men at arms upgrades. And overall, we should hold. We should be okay. All right. So we're gonna need some uh, lumber. Let's get the ranged upgrades here. White Tower should definitely buy us a lot of time. Okay, so the White Tower's here. It's gonna kill a whole bunch of horsemen. And let's get the Castle Age upgrade. Not sure why he's got such a hard on for trying to kill me. It's weird. It's very weird. I mean, it's going to just set both of us back. Alright. Oh, for real? Whisper came in and karate chopped me. Okay, so we're in a bit of a 2v1 situation now. Yeah, we got we lost our all our gold eco up there. So we're going to have to try and slip this in and slip that in there. Alright. That's that's really bad. We lost during all that. I got raided by the Bruce up top. So we are we are definitely behind now. Okay, let's get you out. Let's do this, and we can go ahead and try and get another keep going in a second. We're just in full English turtle mode, guys. So yeah, we're we're getting uh, focused here, a little bit. One, two, three. Keep making the men at arms. Get this tower up. Got to get those houses going. Come on, buddy. Come on. Get politicking? I know. I probably should. But there's no reason to politic yet. I'm not, like, in imminent danger of dying. I'm just going to be behind. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's, uh, that's something. We need to get a trade post so we can start trading a little bit. Some nasty, nasty uh, 2v1 here, guys. 
Yeah, I might be dead here. With my gold income being gone, I, we're in huge danger. Absolutely huge danger. Okay, so let's get you guys going after these rams. Okay, so we got that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold, that's for sure. Alright, so let's get the men-at-arms popping out. We don't really have too many troopers left. We'll make some more Strelbora. The men-at-arms able to push him back. Okay. Let's get you guys. Come down here. Men-at-arms still holding on like champs. Our food income is pretty much non-existent right now. Get you guys back to the farms. Do this. And, uh, yeah, once again... I don't know why why Quill why is Quill doing this? So so weird. Does he not want to win? He's gonna set himself behind too. Alright. Okay. So we held that. While also losing our eco to blue in the north. We might need to go another TC here. Let's see if we can get these scholars. We just have to survive. That's the English way. Okay, we're going to get his scholars now, too. He's not paying attention. So that's a pretty nice pick for us. Yeah, good food now. We're back online. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nice, we just killed all of his scholars, too. He wasn't he wasn't paying attention. If this were a 1v1, he'd basically be toast at this point. Okay, so let's make more of you guys. Do this. Make crossbows, although the longbows are probably fine. Pump out some spearmen, because we just need dudes for the dude god. And let's start jumping on this. Alright, guys. So we just gotta we just gotta endure here. <laughs> He's asking for peace now, because I could probably just go kill him. <laughs> He's probably being attacked by somebody else. Let's go, let's go like see what he's up to down here. Okay. Uh, we need to get the spears upgraded to the next age. Do we have enough? Are our men at arms even castle age yet? I think they are. Okay. So the aggression has been stifled for now. We're going to move over here and do that. I'm just going to stabilize. I don't want to be aggressive because there's other people who probably haven't been fighting at all. So I need to make sure I'm not like behind them, right? Okay. Somebody's going for the sacred site. It's going to be Quill. Got rid of his tower here, which is nice. All right. Let's grab you. Make the Great Wall of England. Farmville's going great. Let's just focus on eco upgrades right now. Now that we've pretty much stifled the aggression, I think we're fine. It was a little bit scary with the being pressured up top too, and I didn't notice that. That was that was good pressure from uh, Whisper. Very good pressure. Enemy is approaching Sacred Victory, huh? We'll send a minute arm up there to go shut that shit down. Need to get the longbow upgrades. Now we just go to the Imperial Age. Probably get a Barkshire Palace and build it like up in the corner here, I, I would suspect would be the play. Um, gold is coming along well. Let's get the lumber upgrades and the mining upgrades. I'm not the only one. Okay, Quill's being shut down by several people here. And um, I would like to get another farm land here, if possible. Yeah, it looks like they don't need my help shutting that down. They got that one un under control here. I've been practicing. Is he talking to? Who's he talking to? <laughs> he says you've been practicing 1v1s, haven't you? Yes. The old conch tricks are back, baby. Alright. Okay, cool. Um, blue is up there with a hunting cabin. 
We got plenty on gold. I would like to go get some gold in the middle. So I'm going to take some of these guys and go like just grab these middle gold nodes because those are the ones that disappear the quickest. And um, yeah, we'll see what we can do there. <laughs> your Avity lost to a villager rush. No, your Avity just DC'd. Yeah. All right, let's get a gatehouse here. Okay, so the villagers are hustling that way. Eco upgrades are coming along nicely. Um, corner Berkshire is probably okay. As long as Blue isn't up there just like waiting, you know, just like mouth breathing heavily. You know, looking to uh, conquer me there. Hmm. We're going to go roll up here with our army. Okay, here we go. This gatehouse almost done. Move up that way. Is he still on that sacred site for real? Nobody's like taking that from him? That's so funny. We're going to go send some men at arms up there. We tend a longbow too. All right. So homie's going to make the gate here. Pretty close to aging up. So let's grab you guys and you guys. Come here, here, and then head up here. I don't want to just like lose all my landmarks. You know what I'm saying? And just die in my base if I do get overwhelmed. So we're gonna we're gonna roll up there. Somebody's got did a villager pull. All right, maybe we just cancel this. All right, so we're gonna go here, here, and here. Did somebody wall that shit? It looks like somebody might have walled that. Interesting. Okay, so let's get them at standby. Barkshire in the middle is very dangerous. Whoa, they really like have straight up walls like right here. Must be Whisper. Let's get the battle cloud upgrade. We can tech a little bit more that considering we need some time. Ah, it's Roost Walls. Okay. That explains it. Should be able to break through that. I doubt he's trading or anything. The middle's uh, been taken here. This, uh, this is going to be securing me 16,000 gold this keep, potentially. Alright, so let's go see what's going on here. We could get our army steamrolled since he's imp. Ah, oh, I really want to build the landmark in the corner. We're just going to go kind of do a little bit of an exploratory mission. Cancel these. You guys can go get this one real quick. And the villagers have made it by. Okay. Alright, let's pull back to the base. I think we're okay here. Oh, shit. Okay, somebody's actually going for the middle, really? Patty's going for it? Okay, let's get you guys here. We're very close. Very close. Okay, hold on. Is he hiding a landmark up here too? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna have to do it in our little our little base, unfortunately. And uh, we can do a Barcher Palace back here. Yeah. Yeah. That that whole dream is not gonna happen, and we can't wait too much longer either. Yeah, this looks like Whisper did the same thing. He basically just built his uh, his empire up there. Lost handful of bills. It's all good. It happens. Um, now what I would like to do is focus on... Well, firstly, finish these walls. Let's get a Treb. Mid, lads. He's got walls on it. Stone. Hey, a couple of the villagers made it back from the Forbidden Quest. Patty says, don't worry, I'm not very good. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to put a minimal amount of pressure on it. We're just going to trap and... Oh, he's got Rebalquins and shit, though? Because he's been in for a while, dudes. Okay, let's do this. Need to get the farm enclosures going. Get the English uh, keeps going. Oh, shit, okay. Holy. Holy hell. 
Homie's um, got some stopping power here. This keep's gonna fold like a piece of paper. He's got all those Revolquins also. I can't get in there with my English troopers. They're gonna get wrecked. Let's go see if we can cheese that out real quick. Alright, so the keep's gonna go down. Oh, maybe not. Can we save that? Come on, save the keep! That would be a nice little uh, ref save if we were able to get that there. Uh, guys, there's a red palace in the middle of the map. Don't know if anybody is noticing this, but this is actually potentially a bit of an issue. We have the Barkshire hidden in the back. And our keep has been salvaged. Men-at-arms are coming out. And eco upgrades. He's back with the cannons. They're shooting through the gatehouse. So that keep is not going to hold. I'm not even going to bother trying to repair it at this point. Um, walls coming in from yellow on the south. So we're going to start on the old stone wall empire. Oh, hello. I was not paying attention for a second. He crept up. Probably going to lose a cannon for his efforts there, maybe. Eh, we'll see. Yep, he's going to lose a cannon. Fan out. Ooh, this army's going to get melted. If we can just kill the cannon, though, that'd be a, a win. All right, let's get in, boys. Take down those Revolquins. Our mighty keep held, and uh, yeah, he lost his two cannons, so... So I hope uh, I hope other people react to this. This could be a little bit of a problem here. Oh my God, these are farms. Okay. All right, English men at arms, fam, go go. And then can we fit a stone wall through here? Oh, uh, it's like curses. Yes, just barely. Guys. Guys, you know he's he's getting mid. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind from all the warfare. Six he's six v one with a frowning face. <laughs> what do you expect? I'm going for sacred with like everybody alive. Okay, let's just kill his springs if he wants to do that. Need to get the army tactics going soon too, if I can. Okay, let's do this. Men at arms. How are we looking on golds? Not amazing, but we do have the English farm gold now, so we need to get more farms going. All right. We're almost got the gates knocked down. We're gonna rush it. The red keep is just gonna destroy us, though. It's gonna be just a pounding. All right. Um. Next up, that stupid keep. Okay, he's got more walls, but nothing. We shouldn't be able to knock down. I'm kind of waiting for an alpha strike opportunity. All right. Let's get a uni. Shattering projectile would probably be good to get. He's definitely all in on this. Let's see if we can start scooting up and getting the red palace. Okay, let's do that. The final food upgrade. Nice. Red palace is fully erect. Okay, Red Palace is almost dead, and then we can blitz in with our men at arms. Yeah, he's out. Of, he, they're not deployed. We can get in. Go, rush my Englishman! Okay, he's been defeated. All right. So now there's a handful. He says, "LOL, GG." Yeah, it was, it was a good scrap. It's a good proper scrap. And we managed to keep our keep through all of that too, which is great. So I'm very happy about that. The King of the Hill remains. We're gonna take some revenge on Quill. It's not actually revenge, it's it's there's there's some strategy here. We want this gold. 
All right, let's get you guys down here. Take this gold. And uh, looking good. All right, so now we just focus on upgrades. Let's get some more farms going. We got another batch of you guys here, so we're going to want to get another keep in our base to protect against invasions. And those should be finishing soon, looking good. University, let's go ahead and get army tactics as soon as possible, sell a little bit of wood. And outstanding, all right. That was, um, look at these haggard walls. Yeah, currently there's a handful of players left. The Strelbora of the gods are on the way. I don't know how good his army is. I suspect he's probably running out of resources. Alright, so the dudes are down here. And longbows, let's get you fully upgraded. We have some of the middle resources, which is good. And uh, yeah, things are coming along nicely. We need to go here and like fully wall our base too though. The fact that there's just a huge opening and I don't have enough stone to seal it is very, very concerning. Ah, uh, yeah, we can start pulling this in from the top. Oh man. I don't think we have access to any stone either. It's gonna have to just be pure trading and stuff. All right, we need to get more of you guys onto the middle golds. Get these emplacements. He's walling his old empire. Uh, our eco is 131, so it's definitely way too big at this point. All right, let's get you on golds. There we are. You guys come down, get that. And that. Cool. So all is good in the neighborhood. All is good. We've survived the early aggression. We are here in the later stages of the game. Yes, textiles. An upgrade I almost never get because I am a potato. We have this keep covering two big gold nodes, which I'm very happy about. Hestus Commende. Man, I just wish I had some stone. I don't have any relics either, but I'm English, so it's, it's not a huge deal. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, so we yeah we do have the roost with a little bit of action there. So Whisper, myself, Quill, Professor, Karsik, and Bobo, all of whom are on the south. So the thing is, if I can kill Quill, then I will be like the Dark Lord of the North, basically, right? Like I will have it mostly to myself. So let's turn in. Need some more military. And we need to get the arrow upgrade if we can. So let's delete this. Delete this. You might notice that. Hey, Tail, thank you. Yeah, we're getting the old English, uh, the old English Empire going. Yeah. That's the game plan. Uh, we have army tactics. We have the arrow upgrade coming. Let's get fully upgraded here. Get some spearmen. Man, I would really, really like to have another keep here. Like a keep right here, like place like to defend those farms would just be the the best thing ever. All right, so we'll just start pounding those down a little bit. We got time. Uh, probably gonna want to get the ram upgrades. He could have a mass elephant army, which would steamroll me probably. Just gonna buy a little bit of stone, work my way towards the keep. I really, really want a defensive keep here. I mean, I, bu I built Barkshire because I thought I was gonna maybe get two V1s in the back um, to buy me as much time as possible. But in retrospect, I do kind of wish I had it in the front. Good old English trebuchets, the, the stuff of the gods. Okay, sacred site's being taken again. Let's go send a worker there. Have him hold position. It's Bobo, he's going for it. It's kind of like, I feel like his strategy on King of the Hill is to let everybody else like take the sacred sites, you know what I'm saying? And then you just, you just like, they methodically die. And, uh, and then you just cackle, right? 
All right, so let's slap that down there. Exactly what we wanted. Because now we can push. Because if we lose, it's not the end of the world, right? Because we have a keep to fall back on. All right, we're keeping Homeboy from capping that. Let's pull you guys down here. We need to get our towers to make sure we have our sweet attack speed buff going. Looks like there's a rider patrolling the lands. Quill's rider. Going to be doing some raiding, but I'm pretty sure I have tower coverage over most of the base. Alright, you guys get back on wood. We got spring all towers here, which is fine. Okay, let's go over here, shut this down. This is a revenge for earlier, partially. He's trying to seal the walls here, but he's not going to be able to. The traps are in the way. Alright, so he's losing bills. Certainly not having a good time. Ouch, yeah, I don't know. He's he's hemorrhaging a lot of uh, a lot of stuff here. Alright, let's keep moving up. Let's see how defended he is here. Yeah, he's got a decent little army. Pull back, you go snipe that. You guys do this. Fight a little bit here. And uh, looking good. Yeah, I think we got him in the bag. This is what happens when you early aggro too hard. You pay the troll toll, though he might be able to push me back. He's got had a lot more horsemen out of line of sight. Alright, so we need to get you guys coming. Let's garrison here. Not bad. So now we just defend the trebuchets. We keep the push going. And I think we win the War of Attrition. Maybe not. I don't know. Pull you guys over there. All right, cool. So knights keep going. Let's get biology and gunpowder. Outstanding. And wood is a little bit sparse, actually. We might want to come down here and do this and this. You know, let's see if we can pop that tower in the face. English armies are pretty brutal, for sure. Yeah, he's looking like he needs some milk here, probably. Okay, so let's pop this, this. Move you guys down here. Okay, he's trying to flank me. Let's take those down. Move you guys up. Keep doing a little tower crawl. Back you go. Pull you back. Get you guys to go dive here, here, and here. Make horsemen, trebs. Keep going here, here, and here. Looking solid. And now we just keep sniping these hand cannoneers if we can. Get you into the eco of the base. Um, unfortunately, we are being pushed out of the middle by Bobo, which is fine. We don't care too much about that. We gotta deal with the most immediate threat to our empire, which is Quill at the moment. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Down you go this way. Let's get some rams going here. Do we have any gold to take? We do have some. He might be able to push us back here. Hard to tell. He does have bombards. But we have a lot of horsemen coming in. Alright. And let's get you back up on wood. Alright. Creepy, creepy. Nice mangonels. We're about to get elite horsemen finally, one of these years. Okay, let's go snipe those if we can. Ride you through to the back of the base to do a little eco raiding. Did you lose a tower? Well played there. That was nice. Okay, so let's gather up. We need to get our bearings here. Ah, I tried to tried to jack his goodies, but he wasn't gonna let that happen. Alright. So we need to gather for wave two. Get like a big critical mass. 
How's our eco looking? Eh, that's not bad, actually. Villagers need to pull back behind the wall. Now we can fight here. Horsemen, go ride, ride. And yeah, okay, we're, we're losing, getting pushed back a little bit on the map here. Thankfully, he didn't kill our gold. How did our run by go? Probably not so hot. Yeah, sand cannoneers. Why, do, why aren't we doing that before? What are these bills doing? Go get on wood. Okay, rams, do it. How are we looking here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, we could be out of gold, technically. So let's set a tower up here and see if it can actually shoot in range. Okay. So we should have the advantage eventually, but the problem is middle is looking pretty crazy now. Like, yeah, we could keep doing this, but how are we looking elsewhere? What does his army look like? Oh, he's trying to wall here. We can get behind the walls and cackle. Okay, we got a pretty good army here. Build that. You guys come over here. And we're going to need you guys to set up some towers and shit. Oh, hello. Oh, he almost got that artillery piece, actually. Uh, Quill is trading 26 gold. Someone build the wonder already, please. Okay, let's do this. Okay, moving in. Don't know how this fight's gonna go. We're gonna try it out, test the waters. We're about to get the tower, so then we'll have the uh, buff. Um, we have our trebs knocking down infrastructure. Okay, we got our tower, so that's good. Kill the hand cannoneers, because they're what kills our men at arms. I don't know why these. Oh, these are our hand cannoneers. Okay, I just screwed up the micro there. It's okay. Okay, so you, you can see the English armies are definitely just very good. No, he pulled bills there. That's pretty fine. Okay, let's go up here with some boys. Keep doing this. We got some rams coming in to troll. Nothing we shouldn't be able to deal with. I don't know what you guys are doing, but let's come down here. Okay, we're in his goodie jar now. So we start attacking. Cool. Take his eco down. Classic 1v1 tactics. Um, high ground. Yeah, people are taking gold, but we're English. We're all good. Alright, so let's finish these towers. Losing a fair amount of his villager eco in the back. Let's keep moving. We need to get that tower up for the attack speed buff. Send the dudes! Jacob, thanks for becoming a channel member. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, so now we got the attack speed buff. And now it's time to start Ramsteining. I mean, he can push into our base, but it won't really do a whole lot. Um, he's losing trade back here, which he's one of the only people to trade, so it's a good thing we're taking him out. And this gives us the top of the map to ourselves, so that's that's quite big also. You just like, like massing horsemen. He's offline on the markets. Okay, let's keep building towers here. Rams are coming for the Ram Gods. Yeah, he's gonna just be hemorrhaging units here. His farms are probably mostly offline too. I think we got this. Okay. Sell some food. Uh, yeah, we can just make a spring tower, it's fine. All right, so progress is progress. It's slow, but it's ugly. All right, cool, so we got stone towers. Horsemen are coming in droves. Let me make sure there's nothing I'm missing here that's like super substantial. Not really. All is calm in the realm. Okay, let's get that. Fan out. Go rapid fire mode. Rapid fire! Alright, let's get back into his lumber line. Oh, looks like we have a, a trap back there. 
Alright, Rams are arriving now. That's gonna help me finish them. Okay, finish those guys off. You guys go down here, polish this off. Alright. Let's make some more of these. Yeah, he's basically Palpatine on death's bed right now. Alright. He's just spamming horsemen in, which uh, aren't going to do the trick, probably. It's probably all he's got access to. Alright, let's make some more rams. Take down the buildings. These guys are just farming guys as they come through the gate, which is good. So landmarks, we got this, we got this, 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 and I don't know where his last landmark is. It's probably around here somewhere. Alright, let's get the houses. Go forth, my minions! Rise! Yeah, the other side of the map is still pretty contested. There's a lot going on over there, so... Yeah, he's he got his lumber eco here. So we should go shut that down. Okay, let's get you guys up here to go shut that eco down. And then we just keep moving through. Giving him the biz. Alright. That should be the end of the road for him. And unless he built a landmark like somewhere else. I don't see that going okay. What is our eco at right now? 103? I'll give you a fight. So Whisper says take middle. Whisper is probably the strongest one right now. I would suspect. He's playing Roos and I don't know who else has been attacking him. Like, Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. And there's still gold here. Nice, nice. Let's go finally get that. Okay, move back here, move back here. Um, what upgrades do we want? All right, King Turin the Haggard, I know, we're trying. Well, Cool's really good, he's a super high level player, so we gotta, we gotta try and take him out. Um, let's keep looking around, he does have a market here. If we could maintain that market, that'd be pretty sweet. Knowing me though, I'll probably destroy it, and that'll be that. All right. Keep rolling through the base. Um, let's see what we got. Let's take down the houses. Still torching. So one, one, and I don't know where his imperial landmark is. It's probably in the corner here. Let's run up there and see if we can find it. Because he's imperial, so he shouldn't be able to rebuild. Yeah, there's. I got. I got the gold. Yeah, the one north of the base. Yep. Let's build a ram here. Progress is progress. The marketplace is still there. Yeah, see, he's got it in the back here. Alright. GG. Alright. Cool. Um, now we need to clear out some space in the north. That was messy, but we got it done. And uh, let's see if he has any relics or anything. I would suspect he would, although he was really late to Castle Age, so... I wouldn't be surprised to see no relics. Yeah, we got that now, which is cool. What did he spell out here? Did he write something with his walls? Huh? No. Yeah, it looks like he didn't. Okay. We do have this gold here too, which is great. Um, we can try and grab that. Looks like we have Professor Finbar coming up here. Wanting a little action. I don't know what the Chinese army is doing here, but hopefully they don't... They might discover the trade. He's got a good army, too. Jeez. Okay, we're just going to, like, avoid this for now. Or maybe go snipe the cannons. We can. That would actually be really big if we can just get these bombard picks. Alright. He, oh, he's probably going to kill the market, which honestly is good for me. In some ways, because it denies other players if I lose. And we just got all of his bombards, too. Let's go see if we can get these while we're at it. He's probably killing the market. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Uh, blue coming around. Let's just get some of these, some of these. China up to no good. I don't think I can beat this Chinese army. It's a lot of hand cannoneers. And I don't have my attack speed buff or anything, but... Get this one, get this one. Get these guys around the back. Yeah, he's got he's got the numbers game here, for sure. <laughs> Look at the Roost Knights rating. 
<laughs> Alright, so we need to we need to like officially wall our shit off. Yeah, but we just have no stone, no relics or anything. Okay, China, yeah, you do your thing, man. You enjoy that corner. It's uh, many, many, many a riches will be found there. I kind of like leaving all those there, actually. Let's just go after that keep there. Alright, so you guys um, can go try and grab this gold, if possible. Okay, so we're going to try for that. Let's optimize you. Who killed Red? Uh, he DC'd in the beginning. Yeah. It was unfortunate. Yeah, no, I don't think there's like any stone laying around. Stone is super precious. Because trading on this map is, is really, really difficult. Yeah, he killed the market. I think? No, there might be another one back there. Let's go see. Oh. Okay, so someone's, someone's still over there. I might have to make another army to come out and fight that. Yeah, I think we might need to. Let's go send Rams to do this. Whisper might be cackling here, getting ready for some funny business. Um, let's go ahead and do a wall in the front. We can start on that. China is guarding the gold. The Rams are getting extra angry. I want that gold. I want it precious. Uh, give it to me. Uh, whisper probs trading top. Uh, he might be. I don't know. It depends on uh, if he's killed anybody. Uh, I'll try and do some scouting in a minute. I first I need to secure this area. Like the trade post and everything is like super super important. So. All right. So I think we're fully upgraded in terms of uh, the basic the upgrades. The biology. Yeah, we just need court architects. Just one that's going to be kind of hard to get. Alright, so you guys keep doing your thing here. Man, somebody's trying to buy. And it is very expensive. Alright, let's get the English army. Doing a little push -aroo. Then you guys flank around the back. Get on top of the missiles and attack. 1-1. One, one. Okay. It's all the artillery has successfully been taken out. Yep, nice. I don't know if we win this fight, though. They, they got a little bit more than us, I think. Alright, let's just pull back, salvage what range units we have. Chinese late-game armies are very scary. Um, very, very scary. Oh, he's like rallying reinforcements all the way over here, wow. Okay, we're probably going to need more military infrastructure at some point here, so let's build some more. Going to be playing a very defensive game. Thankfully, he's, he's trickling uh, in the wrong way, so they're going to be just running past all my defenses. Yeah, China is going to want some trade here, 100%. We do already have our little tower network, which is pretty cute. All right, let's ride down these units if we can. Um, cross map trade's gonna be Trixie Hobbitses. Um, we need to go see if we can scout up here. Okay, he's gonna run through the gatehouse here, so we don't want to fight in that choke point. So that's excellent for us. We do secure the uh, the trade. Grab you guys, come down here, or excuse me, the gold. And um, yeah, China's sending a, a wild ass Imperial official over here. Let's see if we can finish him. Middle is still up for grabs. Bruce could attack us from here, 100%, so we're gonna do some haggard walling. The insanity walls, as I like to call them. Just layers and layers of, of just cardboard walls. That's how you know shit's getting real wild in the game. I don't think I can even fit through here. Yeah, yeah it's fine. That'll do, Pig. Alright, so let's secure this part of the map. We have a good army now, and we do have our towers here, so that's nice. Um, let's go see what the trading situation looks like to see if he destroyed the market. BC had an FHA to he warned all players to kill Chinese before imp, nonetheless in China won. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, but this is different. This is, um, 
This is a map with no trade on it too, so they're gonna have gold issues. Potentially. Depends on the relics and all that. Go my villagers. Rise! Okay, we got gold income again, which is awesome. Buying stone is gonna be impossible. Um, we should probably keep our horsemen up top to make sure nobody's like trying to secure that realm. And uh, it looks like the market's gone. Yeah, he must have killed it when he realized he wasn't gonna win over here. Let's just set up some towers for vision. I always like to do that in fallen bases. China's really coming for it, huh? Okay, I'm gonna need my force for this then. There's nothing to fight over here anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's what he's planning to do. England is one of the best factions at playing Wars of Attrition, so yeah, I might lose this fight here, likely. But um, you know. All right. Yeah, he's gonna definitely not get this gold. Hopefully. Oops. Yeah, I was wondering why they're moving slow. All right, so we're gonna dive and get on top of these guys. Attack. Macro reinforcements out. Longbows and whatnot. It keeps going down. Yeah, maybe we need to get some trebs. All right, so the stone tower is here. Pretty even little fight, which is good for us. He still has gold somewhere on the map, based on what I'm seeing here. He's hiding in the keep, that's funny. Okay, let's get back here, hunt down the bills. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a fair amount of villagers going to the old uh, to the old man here. This guy's hand cannon here is hiding, so we don't want to mess with those, obviously, but we will continue hunting those guys. Back up, back up. Yeah, cool might have had a relic in the corner, that's why I'm building a tower. I'm gonna try and get some vision. Also got some traps coming over as well. Um, it looks like somebody tried to hide something here. Uh, yeah, that was that must have been. Not sure who. Alright. We have the insanity walls going up top, which is great. Let's head down here. Okay, this is where the Chinese are. Yeah, he wants to bring the... He's got a nest of bees. It's like running into the mouth of, a, of your prey. Yeah. Hey, I'll take it. I don't want to, like, kill China, though. I feel like I could with, like, some serious effort, but... But then, like, Whisper is just cackling, you know? Where are the Trebs? Okay, they're finally on their way. Alrighty. And uh, let's get move down here, see if there's any bills left. I don't think there is. Yeah, like, I could set up, like, like 30 ram stations and probably push with longbows and kill them, but... Is it worth it? Um, Whisper is fighting maybe on the bottom side? I don't know. It could be worth, I guess. I don't know. I kind of like playing more defensively here. No, it looks like he just he just had had some randomness back there. Okay, let's knock those bad boys down. The Chad English Longbowman. The Mass Spears will definitely not fare well against the Longbows. Get some man at arms, <laughs> squires. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, it's fine, just trickling in. Really don't know if I should go for the kill. What's in that corner? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, just workers, but I'm gonna go explore it when uh, time permits. We're gonna go like knock this down with some trebs and see if I can find some relics or something. Sure, we'll keep farming this army, no problem. Alright, so how are we looking up top? You guys are doing it. Do that, and then we need to make sure this is walled. Alrighty. Fan out, fan out. Have a couple of you big, thick boys go down there and take that out. 2v1, no fun. I wonder who's 2v1 in the Yeti. Yeah. Somebody is. Okay, spears, longbows, and horsemen. Let's just make, like, wood units. Um, we're gonna explore the corner. 
See if there's anything, any hidden secrets back there. Okay. How's our eco right now? We're at 96, which is good. That's a that's a solid amount. I believe we have all the pertinent upgrades here. Yeah, outstanding. The insanity walls are going, so we got several layers in case the roosts decide to attack us. Um, middle is looking, yeah, kind of barren right now, but what we should do is maybe send a vill up there and go set up like a network of towers just to kind of keep an eye on things. Oh, all right, so the question is, do we go hard in the paint? Okay, so that's that's done. Let's gather you guys here. Why are we building the layers of Palisades? Because it's it's kind of annoying to deal with, actually. All right. Actually, I don't think we're going to be able to build that, so let's just get you in the corner. Okay, so that's going. Here, and then our other TC is up here. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Yeah, do we want to get aggressive? We could start sieging the Chinese. For sure. Got a couple of bills coming. Let's uh, knock down these walls so we have a more direct route. You guys are here to party. Set up some siege workshops there. Gold's still going strong. I think we have the just the one gold node left. Okay, so towers are coming. We haven't seen the Chinese army. Okay, so let's just make some defensive emplacements there to make it a little bit more annoying to push us back. Um, it looks like there's straight up nothing back here. Yeah, you're at, Quill was kind of... I mean, he did super hard feudal pressure on me, so... And like, yeah. Luckily I was playing Eng England. is probably the only save I could have held him on. I'm not very good at other civs. England and Roost are the only civs I can probably play at a Conqueror level. Um, everyone else I'm kind of a potato on. Alright. Just because they're easy, honestly. Roos and English are very easy to play. Um, any pressure in the front? Okay, so that. And then we're going to need you guys to stay on wood so we can keep producing armies. We're knocking on Heaven's door. I don't know, do we need better supply lines to try and kill? Probably. This might work. Yeah, I have the trap upgrade, I think. Oh, no, we don't have that one. Oh, I have the other one. I had the shattering projectiles. Yeah, that's right. Holy shit, it's getting crazy over there. It looks like Carsick Eddie's paying the price. It's fine. Repairs going down. Should be able to get through here. Heavy defenses from China. Alright, so let's start knocking down the keeps and the defenses. Make some towers here as we slow push. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like apprehensive. I'm like, do I need... My base isn't that far. It, yeah, so like, do I really want to slap down production here? I guess it probably would be a good idea, but... We're just going to do a little bit of a slow push here. See what kind of product. Yeah, somebody's buying stone. It's it's really expensive right now. I just bought a little bit and it's like, damn. Maybe a little arrow tower there. Bombards are coming out to party. All right, so let's kill the bombard cannons if we can. Force them back. Mainly just want to get the keep down. If I can get that keep down, then it's a huge win for us. All right, so let's dive in the back. One, two, three. Yeah, we, we'll probably need production to actually kill him. Because that artillery core is pretty nasty. Although we are DPSing through his front line very quickly. All right, so the keep has fallen, which is great. And um, now we can go ahead and start knocking down these stone towers in front. Yeah, we're going to need production to get the kill here. One, two, three. Let's keep moving through. And, um, yeah, we can knock down that tower, so let's knock down this one, and then this. Yep. That one had a cannon in placement, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're gonna need proper supply lines. Alright, pulling back. 
gathering the troops. Ram's getting in. His army's looking a little bit small, so maybe with the second wind here we can get it going. He's pretty, pretty entrenched. All right, let's pull you guys down here to start building some optimized uh, supply lines and stuff. Nice, nice, nice. That is what I'm talking about. Trebs. Knock it down, and let's go ahead and get men at arms production here. And see what we can get done. All right, come on. Did I just hear some like crazy laughing from one of my English soldiers? It's like cackling, dude. All right. So the middle is like safe. Nobody's going for the king of the hill yet. We just need to knock down the defenses here. Okay. Gather up and push back. Slowly knocking shit down. It's taking its sweet time though. Yeah, he's got those those Chinese artillery pieces are really nice for defending. I should probably make some springs to be honest. Instead of trebs. Or we could just keep doing like smash face attrition. But we're gonna start having to make wood units. Oh, he's pulling bills now at this point. Okay, that's that's nice. He's doing villager repairs. So let's see if we can snipe him here. Oh, we have eight trebuchets. Wow, okay. I, I went a little bit too crazy on the trebuchet department. Okay, how we looking? Horsemen moving in. Okay, let's do this. And then you guys can do this, this, and this. Come on, boys. Let's move it in. Come on now. We're a little bit tight on gold, but yeah, he's starting to... I'm telling you, dude, late game England... I mean, China's armies are better. Um, English armies are amazing, too, mind you. But um, it's extremely, extremely hard to push. The wrath of England's uh, late game army. Let's pull you guys back for now. Might as well have you guys be useful here. Okay. Let's keep knocking down these walls to make it so we can do some planks and stuff. That would be really good. I don't think he's got any more defensive towers, really. Now we need to make some springs if we can afford it. So I'm going to sell a little bit as well. For England James, yes, I know. All right, so springs are on the way out. We're going to need those because we the way we've been dealing with artillery is just face-to-foot style, which is not fun. Oh, we can actually use... That's right, English trebuchets are pretty good at killing static artillery. I, I remember that now. Okay, spring ult, spring ult, spring ult. Use the attack speed upgrade with the boys. Loose formation. I always forget that English trebs are like really good at sniping enemy artillery if they're not moving. So I think we're just going to do that. Finish it with our bows. Finish it. One damage at a time. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Let's go, boys. Trebuchets have almost gotten him down. All right, let's go get that. And you can snipe this. And once all of his artillery starts to run out, we should be good. Let's uh, snipe these bills if we can. Okay, so we got the men-at-arms pushing. No funny business up here, really, except our insanity walls are uh, slowly losing integrity. We're going to have to rebuild those once I have a little bit of... I'm too, too old to multitask there, so... All right. All right, so now it's just a war of attrition. I think we've gotten down most of the defenses. Still a huge fighting going on in the corner here. Let's go, let's go. Yep, English longbow. See, he's running out of, he's making spears now, which England, we do we do bows better than China does bows, so. Um, so that's great. Uh, let's keep making more towers down here, just to keep tabs. Yeah, righty. Keep it up, team. Alrighty, cool. We could start doing rams now. Ram spam is, if he's making a lot of archers, rams will be super devastating. Um, what is our eco at? 104? Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. Alright, kill that nest of bees. Fan out the archers, loose formation. 
And let's see, is he going to scoot and shoot? Yeah, knock down these walls so we can slip some units by. All right, perfect. And then you turn around, do this. All right, where do we want to go? All right. All right, so now we try and slip by with some units and start disrupting eco. Just the game plan. Okay, so let's get some spring towers in here. Now the and now it's time for the Rams and run buys are obviously very good. How much is he trading for? Ooh, wow, China, he's trading. Okay, so this is a neutral market which we're gonna try and destroy because you know we could get it. Yes, but we're playing England, so we're pretty happy to just starve everybody else while we still have gold. Yeah, progress is happening. It looks like this is the ruins of a fallen base. Trebs are gonna knock down that market. Uh, Turin Towering Sacred. It's like five random spotting towers. He's he's accusing me of, uh, of of doing stuff on the Sacred. That's pretty funny. All right. So progress is happening. China slowly running out of steam. Okay, let's get you guys to keep pumping the jams. Let's do the attack speed buff. Um, we had some villagers nearby. We need to come keep building towers to uh, make sure our push continues. Sneak these rams into the Chinese base here. Oh, they can't fit through there for some godforsaken reason. All right, come on, boys. Unfortunately, the Trebs do fall, but the Rams have uh, gotten in, so let's move them in. Alright, let's get that tower going. Get these guys going. How's our wood looking? Need to make sure the wood stays pretty optimized. Perfect, so now we're into the cookie jar. We're going to start hitting infrastructure, which is great. And hopefully that will uh, stem the flow of the enemy troops. Dodging back. Uh-huh. Let's get rams. Get the horsemen. Do a little bit of diving here. Yes, my minions. Yes, sons of England, rise. Rise, minions, rise. Okay, where is the actual Chinese base? Is he, like, all the way down in the corner? Yeah, they're going to realize my towers in the middle are pretty insignificant right now. I mean, eventually we'll win this. It's just a question of, do we have time? Okay, let's go. Loose formation. Killing artillery with bows. Old school special. That's how you know things are serious. I really don't want to spend money on infrastructure. Like, more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we've pushed the... We've taken a ton of ground off the Chinese. But what does it really matter, you know? Alright, so we've done this. Um, let's start with some siege workshops up here. Gather up. Yeah, now we won't be able to push effectively without some, some support. Go forth, Rams. Knock back his troops. The sweatiness. It's happening. Alright, let's get a tower here. And the Chinese armies are forced back again. Alright, so yeah, I mean... Shit, do we keep trying to kill him? Is Purple still alive? It looks like Yeti's still alive. So yeah, I suppose we keep trying to kill him. I don't know how good his bank is. His food eco must be pretty insane. Um, must be pretty insane. I'm going to play in the island game next, most likely. It looks like he did, was doing some work against the other players here. Intende. <laughs> I 
I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, Professor Finfar is like he's away from base. Yes, yes I am. We all know how much fun English bases are to attack. Make some traps. Fan out. Do this. Get through. Okay, let's move past and get these men at arms and do a run by into the base. It's the plan of the gods. Wearing down units here. Alright, so let's knock this down. Get you guys getting in there. Longbow's still having a jolly old time. Come on, boys. Get it down. The dreaded run by must happen. Now we run all the way to the corner here. We start trolling farms and stuff. Okay, outstanding. So knock down these walls here. Let's gather some mangoes. Set up more towers. So we need to like run somewhere where we can maybe win. These are all spearmen, so maybe we just turn and fight here and we win. Okay, blue's kind of harassing me a little bit. Looking nice and nice and spicy here. Um, our lumber eco is needing to go the other direction now. So we're going to go here. And uh, one of you guys can do this. And then that we can do this. And then the insanity walls must continue. Okay, cool. He left those guys alive, so they'll just go camp out in the corner and troll. I wish stone was more available. Sadly, it is not. We'll keep t doing stone tax on him. Literally sailing all the way across the world here. Not sailing, but marching. To take out the dreaded Chinese. I do enjoy solo ranked. I usually play it offline. Yeah. I could start recording the games. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I would say if I'm playing at my best, I'm like a low conqueror player. Um, he might be able to push us back here. I'm not sure. Alright, let's uh, blast here. Kill his, uh, his little artillery piece here with our trebs. Okay, Mango shooting to the blob. And yeah, that we just squashed that army. We have our Chad men at arms over here. Gonna make some rams. Alright, is this a... No, that's not like a real threat to the sacred side. It doesn't look like, right? Is it? No, Blue's, blues decapping that. And then we got some mangoes here, which is great. Fills, let's get some repairs on these bad boys. Start doing it. The insanity walls are coming along. I don't know why these trebs just can't attack the towers. Or excuse me, the... Uh, Walls like they're supposed to. Alright. Hell yeah, let's go, Ram. Hey, these random ass men at arms just trolling the back of his base. The slow English grind of death. Yes, men at arms, yes. Rise, my minions, rise. Let's knock down like a wall segment over there so we can uh, do some split pushing. Oh, let's come back here. Yeah, China is almost dead. It's like if we can get another couple minutes, they're going to be in the can. Fortunately, I'm like hemorrhaging resources, but you know it's it's the nature of the war, right? Okay, I'm not sure what he's trying to pull us back into here. Uh huh. Let's get you guys to uh, snipe the hand cannoneers. And do we have the men at arms reinforcements coming in? We do. Great. All right, you guys come down here. Let's get the mangonels to scoot up and shoot. And then you guys can set up some towers. Just slowly taking the old ground. 
pretty sure I'm still killing a lot of stuff here too. Okay, Professor Finbar is now getting attacked by multiple people. Okay, tighten up. And uh, we can get some knights coming down here. Why not? Let's bolster our army a little bit stronger. That will be undone. Dude, even the English villagers are getting ready to fight for fight for the queen, the king, whoever whoever they're interested in. Hell yeah, mango shots. Let's keep going. Keep pounding these guys down. Yeah, we probably have to just run from the main base here. Ram's coming, but we got men at arms to deal with that. All right, so let's go down here and here. What needeth be undone? All right, so let's move up. I think it's time to put a little bit more pressure on. Hmm. All right, so we're doing okay on resources. Whisper, yeah, they're all still fighting, which is good. So that means I have time to keep this aggression on. Uh huh. Do this. Pull you guys back. Be men at arms to defend there. Pick those guys off if possible. Yeah, right. Gonna lose a couple mangoes there. Well played. Nice diving. Okay. Let's call you down here. Take out the Barbican. Take out the farms. Yes, give me the eco. Take down the barbecue of the sun. Okay, we need to gather up troops again. We're losing our critical mass. Rams are doing good, though. Knocking down farms ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. All right, let's go for the other landmark now. You guys come here. Need to set more towers. Uh, looks like I'm not being attacked elsewhere, which is good. Barbican of the Sun is going to fall. Tower's coming up. <laughs> Can we afford a cannon emplacement? That would be pretty sweet. I don't know if that's going to be possible, though. And then repair that. Man, resources are rough. They're rough for sure. Okay, we need, like, vision here. The fact that we can't see what's, like, right in front of our base is really not good. All right. Let's keep it up. Let's go after this. Okay, we got a cannon tower coming finally, which is going to be really good. We have the superior English troops with the, uh, the good old upgrades. Let's get some horsemen coming here. And just rams. Rams for the ram god, rams for the ram throne. Tax me buff. Okay, rams. Take down that tower. Uh, yeah, I don't want to spend more. I'm Wood's getting tight, so I, I don't want to build more infrastructure down there. I'm just going to kind of keep doing the long-distance grind. It seems to be working well. Okay, so let's go here and then here. One, two, three. And you go for the TC here. This has been, this has been just a grinding war of attrition, that's for sure. All right, back you go. Uh, let's make some more troopers here, some more men at arms. We need some good quality units. TC is going down. Villagers being pulled. Got another wave of reinforcements coming. Don't want to just throw my rams for no reason. Uh oh, nice, nice. He finally got my traps. All right, drag down some of those villagers. Cannon emplacements doing it. We're getting the arrow emplacements. That's how metal we are. Okay, let's keep going. You guys follow into the farmlands. If we can shut down the farms, then we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Yep, hit that. Nice, nice. Yeah, so we're going to get right up in the farm goodies right now. All right. Yeah, wood's getting a little tight. We do have a good wood eco. It's not amazing, but it's something. We are now in his main farmland, so this probably is going to end the war, depending on how well he reacts there. Look at that, we have the dreaded uh, outpost with the emplacement. How are we looking here? Yep, farms are in complete disarray, so his food's gonna start hemorrhaging. It's pretty crazy, his eco, though. I'm surprised he's been able to maintain this. 
All right, let's knock down that TC. Still getting some good damage on the farms. Um, so let's, let's see if we could just like knock those buildings down to kill the turn insights. Attack speed buff. Rams and uh, men at arms. Nobody's really coming after my base at the moment. I have the insanity walls for a reason. Let's go down here, see if we can find some more farmers. Yeah, looks like we can. Cool. Probably could use a couple of vills down here. Let's get a couple of vills to keep pushing. I hear Perp has stone. Yeah, probs. We have to sp spread whatever propaganda will benefit us now. All right, let's go over here. I have seven stone. Look at him, he's trying to just say I have stone. Look at this guy, dude. Look at him. Somebody's been buying stone, and that's who the big threat's gonna be. Okay, I don't know what the hell this shit is, but we're gonna just go ahead and deal with that. All right, so that's gonna slow us down a tiny bit. Um, the farms are mostly offline, so he should be just pure suffering right now. Let's go do this, and men at arms, do that. He's going to be running into the keeps, so we can just kind of run down here with these guys. We've almost got him out of steam. Almost. Here we go. All right, let's get you guys up. We should do the trick. Look at the dreaded English farmers. They're fighting tooth and nail here. He's going to discover the Berkshire Palace. All right, so tightening up here. Um, a little bit of raiding going down, so we might need to make some more villagers for our farms. English villagers don't need no protection. They get it done on their own. Alright, let's run by, go to the farms. And men-at-arms need to keep coming down this way. Don't know why he's, I don't know why he's trying so hard to scout, like, raid me here with, like, four horsemen. How did he even get in? Yeah, I have this breach over here, that's right. We never got around to sealing that. We need to fix that. We'll fix that in a second. All right. So gather up, gather up. Let's gather up the boys. We caught his last little rat in the corner. And yeah, we're getting nice kills on the backside here. A couple of men at arms need to gather here. So let's go here and then attack. And you guys can just brawl it out. Alright, boys. See if we can get done. Okay, we got a lot of reinforcements on the way. Cool. And yeah, the farmers back here are still struggling. Longbows, let's go after these. Man, I, he must have had an insane bank, this Chinese player. It's like he's just cackling so hard. Um, it's nuts. I mean, granted, my supply lines weren't great, like the reinforcing lines, but... Yeah, we should have him broke here. Let's set up some towers here, do that. So he's going to have, like, pretty much terrible farm eco here. And we can keep the rams pouring in with mango support. Um, looks like walls are being built. Someone's gonna wonder after this is all said and done, but you know, you pretty much, you do want to take out China. China is pretty obscenely powerful for sure. All right, so let's get you over here, buddy. You guys keep doing it. Just keep tearing them up. Let's have you nuke this and the Rams. Keep going after all the buildings. Yeah, taking down the village is gonna be nice. Ooh, okay. So hold on, we have some, uh, some relics that potentially could be taken here. Didn't notice that at first, but now I do. All right, he's trying to build towers to protect his goodies. Probably not gonna help out too much. Men at arms, let's get him down to the backside. Is there anything to raid down here? Mostly just troop stuff, okay. Go, my minions. Go. Finish off the dread Chinese who we've been fighting for a hundred years. It's like the Age of Empires equivalent of the Hundred Year War here. Honestly, if Pink didn't rush turn, Red had a massive trade. Yeah, no, no. He, he, 
I wouldn't have gone for pink. I probably would have just turtled and maybe gone after blue, actually. But when, when he showed aggression towards me, I was like, he's not going to stop. He kept coming back. So I was kind of like, you know, this has to be dealt with here. All right, let's get into the farms. See if he's trying to farm it or anything. Looks like we've completely broken the back. Still has a couple of spearmen trickling out, which is insane. Sacred Sight's being taken by Bobo, which, um... Let's go build some towers preemptively there. We, we need to finish off China, though. Like, it, it needs to happen. Okay, so there's still farmers here. Let's take that down. Let's take this down. All right, that landmark has fallen, or it's going to burn down in a second. Is he that entrenched here? I don't think so. All right, so how are we doing here? Sacred Sight's been taken. I'm pretty sure it's not like a full attempt. All right, so let's get you guys back up to the wood line. Let's consolidate our forces. And attack. And then the rams can just go and uh, start clearing out buildings. Yes, just like this. Insanity walls from blue means he's probably going to wander. Whisper probs wander top. He's triple walling. Yeah, we got to spread some propaganda now. Whether or not it's true is the is the question. He says, "Okay, lies is like what you say typically when you're 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 caught in your lie." I'm dead broke from constant fighting. All right, well maybe there's some truth to it. Who knows? Okay. So, knocking this down. Is this her actual TC? It is. I mean, how is he even affording to stay stay fighting? He must have had the most disgusting bank possible, this guy. Oh, shit, I forgot to start. I was like, oh, I should probably make units, huh? Yeah, I, I kind of stopped making units for a second and look what happens. All right, so let's gather up the boys. We go here and take down this village. I mean, we've literally just absolutely plowed them. Okay. We'll even make some Rebalquins. Um, Blue is capping this? Let's go here. Okay, so we're going to try and decap that with our boys. Pull back, gather up. We got a little bit lazy on that. On the macro. Did we get that? Teal mid sacred, like a thousand keeps. <laughs> I love it. Truce? Why would I take a truce? I'm close to killing you. This is the time. This is the time to strike. We just need to gather our second wave and then push, and then that should be the end of them. I just got lazy on the macro. No, 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 no sacred win here. Oh my god, the Bruce have all those. It's true, I don't do truces. I just have no idea how he's still alive. That's like he's not even farming, and his eco must be like almost non existent. Alright. Let's go send the farms. Go knock that down. Uh oh, those, those mangoes are very, very vulnerable here. And um, let's go see if he's trying to repair that. Uh, this could be his last army. Okay, let's defend here. That's going to be... Oh, big damage. Nice. Oh, wow, my guys are attacking walls. Nice, nice targeting on my part. Okay. Enemy capturing Sacred Sight again. This is just like gonna be pure attrition here. We do have the towers though. Let's get these Rebalquins over here. Rebalquins are super cool. Totally radical units, man. Okay, we're gonna go throw some workers on there. See if that works. Rebalquin! Nice, mow them down. Let's go up to the farms. Can we get the landmark? I love how he keeps trying to grab that middle site, though. It's really funny. He must have some, like, forbidden hidden eco somewhere else. All right, let's get the Revolpins just mow down a bunch of units. 
He's killing him with bows. Yeah, I genuinely must have a secret a secret side over here or something. Alright. So we need to pull some bills to um, more effectively push. There we go. Now he's moved into our territory, so please don't shoot the walls. Can you shoot the enemy army? Thank you. Okay. Alright. So you guys come down here. We're going to need more towers. The man at arms. Alright. Let's go here, here, and then here. And uh, we can get the rest of the army, move over this way, intercept the defenders. Good old English longbows. England's such a cool sieve. Alright, so fighting this choke point here is basically exactly what we want. Because we're going to nail a bunch of these archers, most likely. Um, what's over here on the other side? Okay, it looks like Pink has like a whole other empire. He's literally using mass archer fire to kill my artillery, which is kind of working, but he's also taking big casualties. Alright, let's do this. Lumberjack there a little bit. Yeah, I think he's got like another mini set of farms on the other side. Must be. Okay, let's keep pushing here. Let's uh, keep scouting around and see what the back of his base looks like. Uh, middle's okay. We see mass rams coming in. I don't know. I guess they're going to delete my towers. They're going to delete some towers. Okay, we got those archers. Let's run to the back corner and see. I, I suspect he's got something going on over there. Some funny business. Yeah, I don't have enough wood to build more infrastructure. I might have to pump my brakes on this conflict. Blue's taking middle, which is fine. We just have to hope it doesn't go to our main base, because defending it would actually be kind of hard. Trolling houses is always good. Yeah, so the Rams are still pushing. If they don't, As long as they don't go all the way to my main base, we're okay. China's got to be close to being dead. He's He's got money, you know. He's got a ton of money somewhere. I don't know where he's getting it, but I suspect it's over here. Um, I can't really get there too well. Let's see if we can do this and like this. Go do a little bit of raiding here. Okay, this is a little bit scary. Is he going for my base? I don't know. He could be. All right. Let's go get the horseman. Do this. We need to uh, use, use this army right now uh, to free up supply. So we're going to do that, do this, and uh, we're going to attack. Okay, he's actually going for my base, which is wild. Okay, so there's going to be some ram pressure coming in. Man, right as I'm about to kill him, he's coming in for me here with this Ramstein push. Okay, so we've got horsemen coming up, which will help a lot with the rams. I mean, yeah, like we were, we would probably kill China now, but sadly that's not going to happen anymore. Okay, so we need to defend our base. And uh, you just get horsemen to come out in droves. Damn, right when we break through China, too. Yeah, we, we get our reinforcements stifled. Alright. So yeah, we should be able to hold this back. I don't think it's going to be too bad. We'll lose a little bit, but nothing nothing too serious. China did repair its landmarks. They've got to be bleeding resources like pretty crazy. Alright, so let's just Ramstein those farms. Take a couple of you guys over here. And um... Wow, Bobo building a wonder! Hell yeah, let's go! Now we can truce wonder. So blue trolling me for some reason, just sending a bunch of ramps into my base. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to take a truce now because of the wonder. So China's going to get to live, which is not good. Although I'm not going to let them just destroy this infrastructure for free. Alright, let's head up to the middle. Um, what did we lose? We lost quite a bit. Why not you? Why is he asking me to take mid? Is he trying to make me take the fall? Okay, 
Well, um... Okay, let's go here. Do this. Looks fine. Bobo's got it. This is risky, because we can just go the sacred here, right? We got our Dread Horseman Legion. Man, right when we had China finished. That sucks. I wanted to I wanted to get the uh, the final blow in there. Alright, do we have any more lumber workers? We do, but man, our eco is hurting. We probably need to make more eco, to be fair. I have, like, no resources right now. It'd be hard for me to fight another full war like that, for sure. Teal's here. Let's clear it out. So we're going to try and clear that out, and we're going to try and grab this. The lumber camp situation? What? You mean this? We just, we've been fixing them progressively. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do this and try and get the um, and try and get the sacred here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot for you know, and get the spring old upgrades. All right, let's move on here. Protect it. So this is the counterplay to sacred on this map. Is you just go for the the middle, and everybody else will let you hold it until. Um, why am I building tide barns? I don't have any relics. Okay. You gotta just defend this man. The accursed roost towers are laughing at me. I do have the English money. Well, what's gonna happen is, yeah, if he doesn't delete, you know, usually the etiquette is, um, not even etiquette, but just how it works is, if you don't, you punish the person who won't delete. So if they won't delete, they lose the game um, when the sacred site, because what would need to happen here, okay, so we got that. God damn! This is like all of it's so expensive. All right, workers. Let's hustle over. Sleep wonder, and I'll fight Turin. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of this though. Like, if I can get some uh, some you know defensive holding going here, man, I just wish I could afford to keep right. That would be awesome. Let's make some spring ults and mangonels. English Lake and money's good. Delete Wonder and I'll kill Purple with you, Teal. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look the politics. Is he gonna is he gonna do it? Plus take mid. Yeah, because I obviously am not gonna hold mid super well. Let's get our longbows up on the walls. Um, let's get some hand cannoneers over here. Some men at arms, and uh, we can just get some more uh, spearmen, I guess. Spearmen. Karsik says, I'm the weak one. Guys, minus is... <laughs> I have no idea what these, these politics this game are wild. Well, they could try sieging him. I don't know why he's trying to decap me here. So we just hold on to this. 200 longbows on the walls, I know. Longbows are okay, but they don't kill armor super effectively, so... God, what I'd give for a little bit of stone right now, guys. Holy shit. That would be huge. Because as soon as the, he deletes the wonder, everybody just dogpiles and gets me off middle, right? I'll fight for it. You know, I'm going to fight for the middle. Um, I could, I, I can't afford to go all in, really. Let's build some siege workshops, kill these stupid towers here. They keep poking me. Better be quick. Going to take time to get him off. Yes. <laughs> Turn is like Batman breaks all of China. China, China is, um, I mean, dude, we've punished a lot like they were hemorrhaging armies um he must have had a huge bank before he fought us like a huge bank hell yeah i'm gonna try and get in yeah Leto, i hope so your avity is gonna be hosting it um so your avity when you get to that make sure to just invite me to the island ffa uh and then then we can we can do it all delete wonder dude we got nothing to lose to be fair we probably all could have piled in and killed his wonder but um i'm more than happy to take this approach um, all right, man. How much is stone right now? Oh God, it's such a bad exchange. So those are gonna come out. 
We have an Hestus. Cancel a lot of these guys. And then um, cancel the bills. Yeah, Wi-Fi, and this is definitely an easier way to do it, but the problem is, is I get the win, you know, if uh, if this goes down like this. Bobo's trying to understand why they're, because this is easier to force you to delete it. That's why they're, that's why they're doing that. Okay, delete a couple of these guys. Knock these damn towers down so they'll stop shooting me. It's to get you to delete. Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. I mean, usually that's how that'll go down. I'm making my haggard defenses here. A turn, you got uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> they are shooting my guys. Okay, I you know, my best chances of winning are, are working with him, so I'm not going to antagonize him too much. Okay. Are these old towers? Okay, let's knock this down. Good. We have a very, like, tentative, like, flimsy alliance with these guys. They could turn on us at, at any second. But I'm happy, happily going to take advantage of this time to, um, to try and wall. So let's knock these down. Just the jankiest of defenses possible. I'm surprised he hasn't deleted his wonder yet. Like, what does he think he's he's gonna get done? Can't be much. He, he really likes the aesthetic of his castles here, huh? Okay. Um, the walls will help us to an extent. Enemy destroyed Bobo's landmark, so somebody's going for it. You see the Streltsy here. Oh, nice. The Manganel's uh, clearing out these random troops. I don't know who told it to do that, but that's fine. Let's pull more of you guys over to the middle. And you guys need to optimize the lumber trade, so let's go to Yuravity's old corner. Um... Did he delete it? Oh no, the wonder's about to go down. Okay, I need to defend the sacred now against the Roos. Alright. All hands on deck, so let's go snipe all these. Okay. Forcing him back into the rat's nest. Okay, Manganel's all day. Four minutes to hold here is not likely, especially with China coming to flank us in a moment. I would suspect. All right, so let's get you. Let's get the mangonels behind the walls. Knock this down also. I don't suspect we went on this. He did delete the wonder, or he didn't. The wonder actually just got straight up killed. Okay, Bobo has been eliminated. Let's take these down. Yes, yes. Mangonels need to get behind the walls. Three minutes and 41 seconds to hold here. It's possible. I suppose it's possible. Yeah, we don't have like much wood though, so I don't want to build infrastructure up here actually. Rams are coming in. Rams are pretty troll. Uh, but thankfully we have some villagers on standby to deal with that. I could make some battle rams of my own. Okay, this actually isn't going badly. We got three minutes, so that's a long time, guys. It's a long time. Okay, trebuchets, knock down the keep here. You need to get these guys up there. Uh, is anybody else attacking yet? Not yet, not quite, okay, hold on. Do we actually have a chance here of holding this? Need more spearmen. I could go all in and delete my, my food workers. Not all in, but like pretty, pretty, like a bigger army. Yeah, having this wall position is pretty sweet. Okay, let's do this. 
keep fighting for it. Yeah, Streltsy getting popped in the face. Definitely going to try and hold this if we can. Yeah, his horsemen are getting a little bit deep into my lines. And he's he's just been like the roost lord of wood for a long time. A couple rams going to the base, which is fine. We'll just intercept him with a couple horsemen. Oh, he's pulling them back now. Yeah. We didn't have any stone to really like build keeps and stuff. Maybe, just maybe we can work something out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enemies contesting the sacred site, but we're still holding on to it. Let's pull the reinforcements up, make sure they don't get caught on the rams. Yeah, on, boys. Oh, hello. Mango just got us nice and good. Need to kill that thing if we can. Kill it. Kill it with fire. All right. Come on, boys. Let's go here. The old English are uh, trying their best to hold. The Rams are clearing out a lot of our forward supplies. But we are getting to the two-minute mark, and we have plenty of food. We just need to maintain our wood. Yeah, Rams have cleared out our siege produ production, which sucks bad. All right, let's make sure to get on the Streltsy. Focus them down. Spears, spears, spears. This might be our best chance of winning. We'll see. Nice. Streltsy getting bonked on the head. Always a good sign. Just keeps back there, still trolling. Uh, any point in sending rams up? Yeah, actually, rams are like a weird distraction. Sometimes they take aggro. Okay, Pink's on his way now. No, I'm not going to hold. Okay, if it was just Whisper, I think I had it. But now that China has arrived with their full Dread Force, which is actually just rams at this point. Um, okay. Oh, hell no. Hell no, dude. I don't want any of this. Screw this shit. We're going home. You guys can have it. Yeah, two minutes. I don't want. I don't want that. That's just. That's just death. All right, we got all those rams, and now we need to replenish our eco and get our farms back online. All right, so what we're gonna do is delete like a bunch of our spearmen. That wasn't gonna. That wasn't gonna work. You know, with the uh, three players on me there. Yeah, there was there were still two other players who weren't invested. Okay, so let's get our farms back online. Let's take you down. Now we need to just cackle in the north. Man, China killing China now is going to be incredibly difficult. They've they've already recouped a ton, and I just lost a lot of resources from that endeavor. I think we just rest our hands for a minute. Let's leave these rams, free up some supply. Um, yes, got to get those beautiful English farms back online. And that, that again will increase our gold income. Rams can sit there and, t yeah, Rams are, Rams are really just super strong. I don't think anybody's going to go for it. So currently it's myself, Whisper, Professor, and Karsik. Um, we could just bank gold, just sit and like accrue gold. Let's go do some horseman scouting. Although he's got his layers of walls too. I'm gonna go see what's going on here. Alright, back to the base you go, buddy. Wonder who is trading. So if we can discover who's trading first and alert the people, there's a decent chance that... Um, we can get that person taken out. Yeah, there's a decent chance. 120 farmers, yeah. That's that's the plan, Emperor, but I need wood. Wood is very important. One, two. Haven't been able to get out of this corner for two hours. That's right, we are about two hours into the game, aren't we? China is just sitting there with its army. Um, I need to just get my bank back, get these farms back online. Looking nice and good. Um, I'm happy to just sit and chill for a second. 
Just want to throw this out there. I don't even play the games you play, but I find your content enjoyable. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, man. Glad to hear that. Are we are we back at this again? We back Mortal Kombating with China? Um, it could be. Could be the case. Someone want to trade? That's pretty funny, actually. All right, let's get these horsemen down here. Farms for the farm god. Farms for the farm throne. Currently, our gold per minute kind of sucks, but it will hopefully be better soon. GG, Bobo. Well played. It was a, it was a good attempt. We're doing all the fun things. All right. Hopefully that'll get the job done. Let's go get a bunch of free rams if we can. Yes, to the middle we can all see the... Yeah, this has been wild. I mean, holding the middle against three good players is going to be... Because ram spam is just brutal, all right? It's just going to eviscerate any static defenses with four people. Yeah, we're doing another one after. Oh, it's not a stalemate, that's for sure. All right, let's kill all these rams. I'd like to push China again, if I can. I'm going to kill as many as we can. Hopefully we get a couple. Two rams down. Are we back at it again? Oh shit, here we go again. Blocking up the rams when he's not paying attention. I don't know why these guys are charging to their doom. Should just be killing the old rams, but it's all good, you know. The old feuds immediately reignite. Um, blue should be busy on their side. I would suspect. I think we can probably do a heavier engagement now. So let's pull you guys down. Looks like we won that fight. Get you guys to go here and here. All right, outstanding. Couple rams still trolling about. Nothing we can't handle. Scooting and shooting. All right, let's try and snipe all the hand cannoneers, the expensive units in the back. There we go. All right, so where are the where's the crew at? I know we had some reinforcements coming in. Yeah, it's 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 hard to manually uh, target those guys sometimes, but I think we're we're good. Our eco is coming back. It definitely is. Um, but we need to be able to make longbows and rams to kill them, so we can't go too hard on the uh, on the other resources. Thirty thirty great bombards. What? Is that, who's no one's playing Ottomans, right? Oh, Karsik Yeti is rocking a bunch of bombards. I went Barkshire. Yeah, I thought I was gonna die because I was getting aggroed super hard early, so I went Barkshire in the back of my base to survive. I was going to build it in the top corner, but the roost had already claimed that, so, um, yeah, that wasn't going to be a thing. Okay. Oh, why am I making crossbows? We definitely don't want that. Some knights wouldn't be bad, actually, against all those archers. Just saying auto scary. Purpose trading now. It's fine, because I want Yeti to have to battle the roost, like, all day. You know what I'm saying? Agreed, all in purple. Yeah, no, I don't want that. I want Whisper to die so I can have the top of the map on my own. So I'm certainly not going to help with that. I think that is the wise tactic. Um, could be wrong, but we'll find out. 26. Yeah, see, they're kind of like overestimating the strength of what he's got. Let's go test the waters. See what the Chinese army's made of here. Now turn, I think we can make peace between our peoples for now. 26 trade ain't that scary. He's trying to trying to do some scheming with me here, but... Just let the Roos suffer and fight him. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I have to get involved with that? Okay, so let's go down this way, secure this. Yeah, longbows are super solid. 
They're very, very solid. A couple of you guys come down here. He says, I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah. China's doing something here. I don't know what. He says, my wrists hurt. Yeah, well, you know. It's the nature of the beast. Alright. Set up siege workshops. Brother arthritis. Yeah, man. Suffering. <laughs> The old man problems here. I love it. That's really funny. Alright, cool. All seems calm in the realm. So far we're preparing another push. Um, our wood situation... Tell me I, I fully upgraded it. Okay, okay I did. Um, yeah, we're alright. Our gold per minute is 500. It's enough to make men at arms and things like that. I like how like both China and I are like he's he's appealing to me he is because I can relate to that you know I can relate God what I would give to be able to build a keep how much is stone right now stone oh wait stone's actually not bad right now we can maybe buy some but building a keep up here would probably just get rammed I don't have the supply lines that I'm looking for quite yet um I know we had more bills coming down here we go all right so we're gonna go for the kill this time um, by building infrastructure here. All right, I'm actually getting close to running out of wood. Exactly. If we just keep the pressure on, you know, we're 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 cackling. Whisper says he has 100k, so that means infinite rams. Oh my god, that's so obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, wood is like starting to deplete on the map though. Uh, Quill tried to kill me early. Yeah, he tried to take me down to Pound Town. I think five siege workshops is going to be enough. Okay, so now that we have proper production here, it should be much easier. We have we've had time to set up. There hasn't been any like constant aggression. Hundred k wood. He's literally sitting caps on wood. That's insane. All right, old archer ranges. Super tempted to try and get an English keep here to get the uh, the real, real nasty push. Maybe I'll do that once I get into the base. Yeah, that would be that would probably be the play. Let's make her a Valkyrie just because they're one of the coolest things ever. Yes, minions, keep building. No, I need wood to spam rams. I need wood. All right, let's start the party. Okay. We're going to get in eventually. I don't know if he's got nest of bees or what he's got chilling there, but maybe something. Holy Springs, yeah. Well, let let those other two fight, you know. That's that's what we want. Okay. Okay, let's go polish these off. We'll be in in a second. Unfortunately, the mangoes are all we got. <laughs> Tell him he can eat after he resigns. Yeah, that's funny. I don't know, I was just trolling us there. Let's go, team. Sound the horn of Gondor. <laughs> Ride out and meet them. Oh god, is he really all cannon towered out again? Are you serious? How is he affording this? Alright. Just this hellish fight in the choke point. I mean, he's taking big casualties for sure. But so am I. Managed to get a couple knights by. Let's go see if we can squeak through there. Go Rams, be annoying. Ah. Uh, I might need a freaking keep here to, to actually like win this push. His artillery core is superior to mine. Okay, let's pull him back a little bit. These guys are trying to get through. Maybe they will eventually. Alright. 
All right, back to the War of Attrition. One tower down for the count. Um, we need springs. So let's sell some resources, get some springs. Oh man, my villagers. I didn't want them to get involved. They were, they were too good for this world. All right, so let's get on the walls. Did they get through? They did. All right, let's go get on the farms. Let's see if we can get some damage there. Oh, God. <laughs> Longbows, please. All right, springs. Take them down. Did the knights get in? They did not. Okay. Okay, Rams. Keep it up. Just make whatever the hell we can at this point, dudes. Uh, we're going to need to get more villagers, probably. Pull some more of you down here to reinforce. I think most of the Spring Alds have died. Let's kill the Mangoes. Although, probably just diving these is more important here. Um, yeah, let's make cannon placement, cannon placement. Sure, why not? I think we don't have enough to push him, though. We, we should have built more infrastructure. It was actually not enough. And I'm just, like, out of, like, my main resources. Yeah, too many rams. We might have to just re reorient our push. Yeah, like, gather another doom stack and just try and run him out of wood. His artillery was really, um, really solid there. Really, really solid. Yeah, we might just need to go gold. I don't know. He's he's somehow getting a lot of gold. He's got a lot of hand cannoneers. But I, I don't think he's, like, trading or anything, right? I don't think so. Okay. The old crossbows are certainly picking off quite a bit. Maybe he is running out of wood. Let's get up on these walls. It's a pretty damn good spot, actually. Okay, we got the cannon in placement. The meme cannon. Alright, let's have that. See if we can snipe that nest of bees. Oh, it's such a grind, dude. Such a grind. But at least we're English. England's like the best grinding grinding sieve. One of them. Although Ottomans arguably are really good, too. Because the fact that they they can just get like mass great bombards for free in the late game. We probably needed some stables here. He's pretty much all missile units. Alright, so our eco is getting back up. But our wood sucks. We, we should honestly just pull back at this point. Retreat! Retreat, my minions! Alright, seven, and I can go to five. And let's just gather up the boys here. Probably men at arms horsemen would be a good army comp against this. Although he's got a fair amount of spears in there, too. How much longer can he go, though, is the question. Uh, Alright, let's get you. Do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Gather up on the second wave of towers. This is where we make our stand and just keep fighting. He might be trading with Teal's base. His army is mostly archers. I saw he had one relic, one pagoda relic, but that was pretty much it. Um, Alright, let's gather you guys up here. Cool. And then maybe we can get a good counter push on him, I'm not sure. We do have the tower buffs here. More farms coming up, which is good. Our eco's rebuilding. Our eco is a bit of a potato. Yeah, the English food is just so good though. It's so good. We're gonna see who wins on the other side between um, Karsik Yeti and this other player here. Let's go over here. Hmm, let's do this. I have an idea. Alright, so we're gonna do that. See if we can catch this Chinese army slipping. Um, what do we got here? Do we have a full stack? Not really, but it's all good. We can we can sound the horn of Gondor. Oh no, he's watching. Okay. Alright. So you guys make more men at arms and more spears. What does his army consist of? Yeah, palace guard mostly, nest of bees. Those bills are going to be hustling. Um, we do have a bit of an opening here, so we should probably do something about that. There we go. All right. Oh, hello. Pull back, pull back, pull back. 
A run by would be an interesting play if he hasn't resealed his base. It looks like he has, so I don't think that run by is gonna be working here. Go, my villagers, go. Live. Live, minions. Alright, knights are on their way down. Gonna gonna run you out of gold, buddy. Or run you out of wood. That's the game plan. Okay, so a little funny funny business there. Rams are just so troll, dude. They're so good. They definitely need a population nerf. I mean, I abuse them too. Everybody does. They're just like, it's the meta. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so let's dive back here. You guys attack here and here. And then you guys can dive that one. Attack. Get onto the missile units. Go, my men at arms. Go, my pretties. Chinese hand cannons are scary. Kill that last thing so we can maintain. All right. So they can dive here. Do this. Make you guys. We'll try a little bit of funny business there. And look at that. The war of attrition continues as we just keep pushing each other back and forth and back and forth. Probably need more Strelbora. The Strelbora are actually very good here. They trade very, very effectively. Probably need some springs too to deal with those because diving them is very hard against Chinese uh, hand cannons. All right. Back we go. Let's do this. Nobody's playing middle. Nobody's doing mid. Everyone's just kind of hanging out. Uh, our eco's up to 111. We should probably stop making it because we're not going to have a big enough military to fight here. Alright. So we are at 51 on wood. Alright. So let's make another farm. We can just do that over here. Whatever. Uh, let's find another space that's a little bit safer perhaps. Yeah, I'm going to have to like delete some buildings. Kind of annoying. Eh, this will do. Give me the gold. All right. One ram down. And Joe's ram down. We just got to wait for spring alts. Once we get spring alts, we can beat his army. Just going to gonna be necessary here. All right. That's basically all of our wood. Jeez. We better be careful. All right, horsemen. You need to ride by. Get on top of the range units. You guys are still doing that big damage there. Oh, we have a spring tower here. That's pretty funny. All right, horsemen. Come on. Nest the bees nastiness. Where are our springs at, man? Those are we need those springs bad. We don't have like good supply lines for spring alts here. All right, so that should be something that's a little bit disruptive. Spring alts are on their way, which is great. Um, probably pretty long to run. Oh, Yeti is eliminated. Wow, okay. The Karsik Yeti has fallen. All right. So we're going to do a little funny business here. That was, that was kind of one of my plans. Pull back, pull back. We need the Spring Alts before we can fight them. Okay, they're on their way. And then that's going to change that momentum for sure. Because the, uh, the English Army will do well. It just needs the artillery support. All right, so let's go landmark hunting here. Springs, uh, we need to get them going here, 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 and here. Yeah, see, so he's pulling back now. He, he, he's got the fear, fear of the gods here. Okay, let's go see what's going on here. Now that we got springs, we can definitely push back. We just need to get a good critical mass. The nest of bees were just wrecking me. All right. Oh, Blue Wonder. Okay, Blue Wonder. Blue Wonder. All right. Peace for now. Yeah, he's going to try and keep the mid. Okay, let's do this. Let's delete you. Yeah, the Wonder's being built still. It's taking its time. Um, I, was, I was going in to troll that. Um, let's go. We probably keep these walls here, actually. 
Okay. Let's pull some workers. Get them to the middle. Really, is there no way out of here? Are you for real? We're gonna have to go like all the way around. Kind of looks like it. All right, so let's see this. All right. So blue's here chilling. Yeah, is that guy gonna pop out here? Unfortunately not. We're supply caps. That's too bad. All right, so let's go deal with this ram split push, and then we uh, try and do a little funny business here. Oh no, did my game just crash? Okay. No. The screen just like locked up for a second. Okay, Rams, let's go. China is fighting him there. Come on, boys. Go here, here, and here. So, Rams are so annoying, dude. Yeah, they do move in herds. I know. It's true. All right. So we've almost got them all down here. Our villagers did get karate chop, but we're going to be taking some more. Yeah, all right. Heading up. Let's go secure this. Ram's going in. Two can play that game. Two can play the Ram game. Uh, all right, so let's lead some food bills. Not too many, but we're gonna just take a couple off off the wings here. Wasn't enough to get the uh, the goodies here. Okay. Let's clear the queue out, and then we need to delete some of you guys. All right, so let's party. Keep making these guys. You do this, and uh, yeah, China's China's pressuring. Oh, he's got a lot of springs. Is he not capturing that? Oh, it's because the enemy's on it, I guess. He's um probably all in, which means he's just rich as hell. I think Blue's got this. Like, we're both kind of not in great positions to attack him, although I could do a little bit of funny business here. All right, so let's uh, try this out. Yeah, 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 okay. So one, two, three. He has gone for the armory upgrades, it looks like. So I suspect we might have some... Uh, is he having success there? China is not having the most success. Okay, let's get you guys up here. Keep charging. Spring alts, yeah, he's got all the artillery. Okay, so that, that plan's not gonna work, straight up. The middle is not gonna work, he's, he's too prepared for it. Unless China can maybe, maybe make some big progress here. So let's take you guys, do this, all right. Start setting up some siege workshops. We can do that over here. Two, three, four. You guys go work on those. We'll still keep trying the mid a little bit, you know? We still have a little something something here. All right, so we're gonna keep trying. We got the battle monks moving. We got like one more wave at it. Then we're gonna have to go for the main base. No, China's doing fine. China was like, look, they still have like, they're pushing blue back 100%. Okay, he hasn't noticed this monk yet. So let's try and hope he doesn't. Ugh, a little bit scary. All right, move on to that. But I'm also gonna plan for the other angle in case this doesn't pan out. Okay. Let's go here. Take those bad boys down. I love just random, random shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Nest the peace. Don't kill him. It's literally our only chance, probably. All right. Blue's being kept at bay. Come on. Oh, bad nest the peace. Gotta force de delete. Oh, okay. Oh, we just barely did it. Holy shit. Okay. 
But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be uh, pursuing other strategies as well. Alright. Okay. It's pretty close. Like, if he's able to keep me off the... Or delay some of the wonder time. Hopefully China's still helping here. Oof. Oh boy. Okay, so Rams. It's okay. The other split pushing strategy is uh, going to be in full effect here in a moment. Yeah, the timer. He's going to pass it. He's going to pass it. See, his wonder is going, and, and the sacred side isn't. So we got to we gotta go full on uh, different, different play here. Okay. I'm out of resources, basically. Get you guys back down. Yeah, he's 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 all in. He has no villagers, I bet. He's just rich enough that he doesn't care. Alright, so this strategy needs to be rerouted. Okay, do we have any villagers on wood? Probably not the most optimized situation in the world. So let's pull you guys down there. Keep you guys fighting for a moment longer. Alright, here and here. Here and here. Maybe he'll be slightly out of position to deal with this. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go here. Do this. You go there. Oh, man. This is like our eco is so taxed from all these wars. It's going to be like 7 a.m. when I finish the FFA. I know it kind of feels that way. Okay, we still have a couple dudes fighting here, but it's good. We're all, we're all like going the different route now. Okay. Let's push through the towers. Let's burn through the witches and uh, all that sort of good stuff. Yes, yes. Making some progress, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we can make some ground on that wonder, actually. Let's take it and just rush her straight across, see how far we can get. And maybe maybe China is going to do something similar, although China doesn't quite have the angle I have. All right, let's get in there. Oh, he still has some bills. Okay, so he's not all in. Maybe he just kept his food. It, he hasn't really reacted to what we're doing here yet, so we might actually get there. I don't really have enough wood to make more rams, unfortunately. Okay, let's uh, butcher these guys. He's going to try and reseal the walls. Okay, let's still destroy that. Yeah, all right. A little progress was made, but he was able to react pretty well and make another force. This is good, though. This is going to allow China to maybe get some momentum elsewhere. We still have, what, seven minutes left? All right. So the food eco, we got to just keep training his, draining his resources and hoping he's uh, running out of steam. That's basically our only hope here. Rams tried. Let's pull him back. We should be able to knock down these walls. They're just paper walls, so... All right, let's make some mangoes, or excuse me, some trebs, because we're English. Take down these towers, which I believe are partially built. Okay, you guys go up here, take this down and this down. The middle push was a cool attempt. China's got to be making some progress, although that's a super entrenched position. I think the Rus have like five keeps there. Like, it's, it's, it's a hellscape for sure. Okay, here comes the Roos. We got spears and men at arms, but no defensive towers, which is a little bit concerning. Take a couple of you guys. It's going to be a minute before they get there, but we'll try. No problem. Easy peasy. Get through there. Come on, boys. China's uh, shooting the keep slowly. Oh, man, this guy's rich, dude. I thought he was fighting someone. I guess not. I guess he was just Cacklestein in the corner here. I feel like he's trading. I feel like maybe Blue is trading and none of us knew. Because his entire army is knights. Look at this. It's knights and Streltsy. Which it means he's he's rich as hell. Yeah, Blue was probably trading this whole game. And purple, uh, when Purple died, he just kind of ran away with it. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay. Uh, crossbows. Yeah, they're cheaper handgunners, I guess. Make a spring tower here just for the for the memes. 
Fight him in the choke point, but the Streltsy are very good in the choke point fight too. He's really rich, jeez. Mass gold must be trading. Yeah, there's 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 something funny going on here. Longbows, come on boys! Same. Or he just banked. Okay. Are we going to be able to push back? I don't think so. He says pink is AFK. <laughs> like he's trolling him. Oh, man, dude. Come on, baby. Get me in there. Pretty sure he just didn't fight and let the cabins and relics bank. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think he was fighting. Because China and I, I was trying to kill China so I could take control and maybe do a big trade down the side with his market, but uh, Professor Finbar held too well. God damn, that is a lot of Streltsy. Alright, let's gather up. Re engage. Uh, these choke points are probably helping him at this point, so let's delete these. Let's delete these. And delete all this shit. Yo, oh, yes, the walls of Babylon come crumbling down here. My ears. Yes, I got the jump scare of the gods on him. Man, my eco sucks. It is not good. We are straight up in the pits of this, the seventh layer of hell here, guys. Alright, let's delete these two. Quill was in this match the whole time? Oh, damn, dude. You always think King of the Hill games are going to go quick. You're like, oh yeah, you know, one sacred site. But it's the complete opposite. Okay, yeah, China is, China's running into the same wall I am. The dreaded roost wall of doom. I shall make one more ram and push forth. All good. We needed others to police him. They failed. Yeah, the, you know, he just kind of got to do his own thing over there. Plus Roos OP on this map. Trade cabins wild. Hollow shells ravaged by Yeah, Roos is really definitely insane on this map. He's probably making like fifteen hundred gold from his you know from his high trade house and the uh and the cabins. Alright, let's uh make some more knights, why not? Some decent quality. Could have sworn I had some villagers hustling up here. Is he running out of steam at all? I don't think so. I think he's probably just more focused on China. Yeah, there's a big Streltsy army there in the middle. Alright, let's do that. I have three pagodas. Oh, alright, that's partially how he was staying in the fight with me, China. Alright, let's trebuchet down this wall. Uh, make more rams. Rams go here. Knock those down. Yeah, uh, he's gonna get my trap here, probably. Come on, English archers, protect it. Protect it. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, it's just GG. There's no way. A little bit of trolling in my base. The fact that he's able to do this means that Pink is not having much success. <laughs> yeah, he's he's he, he too is running into walls, but we'll just pump some reinforcements out there and it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, GG, guys. GG, well played. Uh, GG, well played, man. We can't get you. I'll tap out just to spare my hands so I don't have to micro anymore. Well played, man. Well played. You played a great game. He got it. Now let's take a look at this insanity. All right, you guys ready to see some gross stuff? <laughs> I hear no bell. Oh my God. That was a good game. It was really back and forth. There was a lot of, a lot of ebb and flow, but blue was a tyrant for sure. I was hoping the Ottomans would be able to take him, but it looks like they just got wrecked. Why, why did he leave, the Ottomans? Looks like they were still alive. See, when the Ottoman player left, the Rus were able to just cackle. Yeah, so check this out. 40 gold a minute. 40 gold, 28 gold a minute. Uh, let's see what else. So we're already seeing several hundred. That one, it's not showing in all of them. It's weird, even though it does say that there's an influence of trees. Your game crashed? Oh! Okay, that was what I was wondering about. I, I was hoping you would keep him honest, but if you crashed, man, that sucks. We had a lot of that this game. We had your Avity crash. 
Like your Abadie crashed and then gave the roost this corner for free. And also took pressure off me, which is, you know, not right. And uh, we see him pushing, but there's no way he's going to make it there. Literally impossible. Um, literally impossible. GG, well played. You want to see the gold? Your avidy was a trendsetter. He was with his crashes. Statistics, economy. Uh, did I have the most gold? Is it not showing? Hard to tell. Did the wonder victory end? There you go. Okay, it just booted me out. Weird. Yeah, we needed you, Yeti. We needed you to keep him honest, because with just us two, when you crashed, that definitely screwed it up. Damn, dude, that sucks. GG, well played. Yeah, but that would have been a different game if there were three of us pushing him. We would have probably gotten the kill in the wonder. Cooper, apologies for the Total War question. Uh, do you have any plans for land battle? No, not not too much. Um, maybe like a faction war or something. I had 100k, he had 200k. Yeah, so he blew me out of the water, even though I was English. Uh, the roost trading on the edge of the map is really OP there. All right, uh, Uravity, yes, you're hosting the game. So go ahead and host it and make an island map. I'll probably cast this game, actually. So Uravity, go ahead, because uh, that was a long one. I'm just going to spare my hand. And we'll cast this bad boy. Tall man. Oh, hit me up in Discord, man. Yeah, hit me up in Discord. We can coordinate all the prizes. Yeah, dude, hunting cabins. And did he, did he have high trade house? I don't know if I saw it. Yeah, because... He probably had relics too. Crazy, crazy how strong he was. China was doing a good job though. They were they were pushing in. I'm gonna go grab a quick drink. Uh, Uravity, host it up. And uh, islands, just pick any island map. Like even one of the basic ones is good. All right, BRB. Get it going, man. Thank you guys for joining today. All right, do I have the mic turned back on or am I a potato? Hey, it's back. Look at that. So Dandy Dragon says he had five relics, high trade house, and maxed cabin gold. That's a lot of nodes. Yeah, that's brutal. That's brutal. I was like, how is his army so elite? Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so let's find your avidity. It looks like the lobby should be going soon, and we'll be casting this game. I wanted to play, but want to rest the old pause. I don't. I don't feel like suffering later. Yeah, it's wild. Hey, turn. Did you see info about Order of the Dragon? Yeah, that looks really cool. I don't. I don't know. I'm I, the Byzantines. Probably what I'm most excited for. The dreaded olive oil sieve. Yeah, that that'll be fun. So Roos max gold per minute from hunting cabins plus high trade houses theoretically around nine hundred, not including relics. Yeah, and he had five relics too, apparently. So the relics are what, 80? Yeah. So he's getting like, all, he's with that, like he's getting probably passively 1,500 gold a minute for free, not fighting anybody, and also is getting Tithe Barn's five relics, which is giving him stone to build keeps. Pretty insane. Pretty insane. I, I had good gold pwn, but I was spending it really quickly because I was trying to kill China. I, what my thought process was is that um, how is your ability not started the game yet? Come on, dog. My thought process was that the Ottomans would keep the Rus busy with their great bombards being really OP late game, uh, and then I could eventually take out China, which wasn't possible. Professor Finbar was holding like a champion. I had a window where I could kill him, but then I got attacked, and I had to pull back. It, it just all fell apart. Tall man, thank you, man. Thank you. Don't have Discord. This is the prize money for the. Uh, plus extra for hosting. <laughs> thank you, man. Um, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely host the tournament. Thank you, thank you. Uh, greatly appreciate that, dude. That is very generous of you. Karen definitely had uh, good gold, but the other guy was... Yeah, he was blowing me out of the water. 
Malians are good. Yeah, Malians are fine. They have some cool tricks in FFA. If you can get the pit mines and keep them all game, you have really good late game gold. Uh, Malians do have the Mansa Quarry, with which you can get permanent stone, which adds up. There's a lot of cool tricks. A lot of cool tricks. All right, guys. Here we are. It's going to be Ravity on the Mongols. Allied Treks on the Abbasid. Island Abbasid. What? Dandy Dragon on the French. Cohesion on the English. Henkra on the Chinese. Fish Fish... Fry on the Mongols, Dox on the HRE, and Smeagol on the HRE as well. HRE is not a bad water sieve. They can definitely go crazy on the Wood Eco with their uh, Aachen and stuff and Prelates. Hmm. This is going to be fun, man. Let the good times roll. Thank you all for joining today. Hope life's treating you well. And uh, again, Tall Man, thank you so much. John Discord, yeah, you should join us. You should join us. Come join the good times. Yeah, it looks like the loading bar and the still a little bit of loading action going here. We should be in. I suspect you had a good bounty. Yeah, when you're, it was a shame you're Avity DC too. That kind of like gave me a really easy position. I should not have had it that smooth up top. I probably would have died if your Avity had stayed in the game because what would have happened is I would have fought Quill. I would have been delayed. Your Avity would have probably teched to Imperial with Corner Roos and then I would have just been like swarmed on the other side after maybe even defending and or killing Quill. I would then have probably died to your Avity's counter push after that. Would have been a very different game without the DCs. I would probably be spectating <laughs> very early on. <laughs> All right, guys. Spawning on the west side, we have Uravity on the Mongols. To the east of him, it is going to be Docks on the Holy Roman Empire. To the southeast, Fish, Fish, Fry. Southeast of there, Smeagol. Chris is back. Oh, the filth. All right, guys. Smeagol, hands down, has the best island. Yeah. It's wide enough to build stuff on. And, dude, look at this wonder. There's no way Navy can get to it. Plenty of distance from the coastline for trebuchet pressure. Really, really nice island here for Smeagol. To the southwest, it's going to be Henkra. To the southeast, or the direct south, I should say, it's going to be Cohesion. To the west, Dandy Dragon on the French, looking to spam Guildhall and Cackle and Freestone. And then on the far side here, we do have Allied Trex on the Abbasid. So he better be careful. If he gets invaded, loses his island, he's basically just dead because Abbasid only have two landmarks. So, yeah, Allied got a pretty crappy island here. Well, that's not necessarily true. Mm, you could still go Wonder. You could still go wonder on this island. There's enough space. It's very small though. And it looks like on this map, there's only, oh, look at the one sacred site up here. Look at that. So one sacred site up top, uh, plenty of wood on the middle. So the middle is gonna be super, super hotly contested. It's a very small space, uh, tons of gold on it. Looks like there's a total of uh, 32,000 gold on the middle island with the, uh, the big gold nodes there. So yeah, you're gonna wanna rotate over to that island very, very quickly. So should be pretty radical, man. Should be pretty rad. So Chinese, Henkra doing some good work here, getting the sweet lumber camp uh, supervision. Going to be collecting some taxes. So China can build a pretty good navy while also getting gold from the uh, the tax. So yeah, China's China has probably got to be one of the best water sieves, right? Like I'm trying to think. French, French are up there too because not because, I mean, their navies are egregiously strong, but because of guild hall. So they can like just sit on their island and build like 500 keeps and go for a wonder. Um, that's very possible too. Probably what I would do if I were Dandy Dragon and I was omnipotent, uh, you know, om omniscient, I could see the entire map. I would probably try and kill allied Trex on this island and then take this island for myself to build a wonder in the corner using the guild hall. That would probably be my best bet. Probably be my best bet. Look at this little island here too. This is kind of cool, right? So here on the western portion of the map, we do have a island uh, with which... Uh, anybody can trade. There's a little tree there decorating the island. I'm sure somebody will take that when they get desperate enough, but hmm, that's looking to be the case. Very, very cool indeed. Yeah, but Allied's big downside is that he's playing Ottomans, or not Ottomans, the Abbasid on, uh, you know, a map like this. Abbasids are very, they're strong in FFA. Like, Ghulams are crazy, and they have really good farm and really good trade, but the fact that they only have two landmarks is one of the most stressful things. It's like... You slip up once and you're out of position and somebody like Fire Lancers or Ram pushes like you in the back door, like you can just die. You can just absolutely die. So do a little bit of fast forwarding here. Catch up to the current live state of the game. Looks like Fish Fish scouting with his con fervently. Deerstone's going down on the island. Pretty much the, probably the best bet. The other one arguably might be better just to get a market quickly, but now this unlocks the Yam network. So I guess that's good. Um, down to the Southeast, Smeagol. Got to be very excited about the wonder opportunities here. He's going to be able to plop down a fat, thick wonder there and for sure cackle if uh, nobody messes with him. No naval conquests yet, no colonists. We have not seen any transport ships being built at this point. 
Gravity has not done that, um, nor has he aged up yet. So really going hard into the, the fishing, which is smart. It's definitely smart. We see some aging up here for the Mongols, but you'll notice their fishing is about half of which Yuravity's is, and Yuravity will quickly eclipse him in Eco because of the uh, double fishing notes. He is going to get Castle Age very, very quickly. Uh, small question. What are your plans? When stops? Uh, yeah, so when when Creative Assembly stops supporting Total War Warhammer 3, I'll probably cover it for a little bit longer, and then... Um, you know, maybe make a community balance mod or something at that point, and then from there probably cover whatever RTS game is still booming, whether it be Age of Empires 4 becomes the primary thing we cover, or, um, or you know, Stormgate at that time. It, I assume they might do a Total War Warhammer 40k, but I'm not really interested in other Total War titles unless they have good PvP infrastructure, which pretty much none of them do. I mean, Total War Warhammer is the best. Uh, you know, they had a game mode that was made specifically for multiplayer uh, domination. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. Feudal Age being reached by several players. Um, this island's okay too. I don't hate this one by Cohesion. <sighs> yeah, you could you could plop a wonder down. No, it's like very risky. Maybe like right here. You have this like nice little peninsula with which you can have like safe fishing, and it's like very out of the way for raiding. So somebody would really have to go around the bend, and you could have artillery on the shoreline protecting. I'm surprised, um, by the way, we haven't had any Ottoman players in this game. You know, I feel like the Ottomans would be very, very good with their free Great Bombards. We saw how powerful that was last time, right? It's very, very nasty. Purple, Pink, and Teal are Conqueror 3. Yeah. Uh, Smeag I don't think Smeagol's Conqueror 3. Maybe in team games. I don't know if he is in 1v1. Because here's the thing. I mean, it's like I, I often run into people playing 1v1, and they might be Conqueror 3 in team games, but their 1v1 rating is way lower, and they're nowhere near as good as like a Conqueror 3 player uh, in 1v1. I don't know though, hard to say. Team games are a, a bit of a different beast and you have another person to lean on if, if mistakes are made, right? Shogun 2 Avatar Conquest, that was a lot of fun. I remember playing that, those were some good times. So huge navy here, your is gonna be hitting Castle very quickly. You'll see he's already like halfway to Castle Age basically. His food eco is so good and his gold is almost like, you know, up to where he wants to be. But the middle, ooh, I like this play actually by Henkra here. This is very, very strong. Very, very strong. So he's going to be taking the Barbecue of the Sun, securing gold, securing a ton of wood, and this will fend off initial colonists. And honestly, if they just let the Chinese take over the Middle Island, he's going to be so far ahead of them in terms of wood and everything, right? That's going to be massive. So we have a Light Junk, um, a Mongol Light Junk from Fish Fish Fry sailing down here. I think it's just scouting. It's not attacking anything at this point. Smeagol in the corner. Uh, what is he up to? He's got his Aachen. Great Aachen position, by the way. Very beautiful. Hitting all the wood, hitting the gold. It's uh, it's good. Smeagol's island is very wood barren, though. Uh, he's going to run out of wood super quick. And he's going to want to move over to the middle and really uh, cackle it up. Looking down here to the southwest, we have Cohesion. He is our English player. And uh, yeah, England is not bad on island maps. They have, you know, good gold progressively without relics. They're definitely formidable, and they have good armies, and longbows, and defensive capabilities on your island are really good too. Especially Barkshire Palace. Like, if you plop down a Barkshire Palace, like, right here in this, like, corner, for example, it's going to be super hard to get past it unless somebody brings, like, a massive just balls deep navy and goes really, really hard. In the backside, we have the House of Wisdom. Good position. Really, really good stuff by Allied. He's going to be able to wall it in and make it very hard to kill him. Or at least harder. Um, if his opponent comes in with serious siege weaponry, that's going to be a bit of a different beast. Um, we're not seeing any heavy duty pressure here. We will have to see. Oh, Allied actually got Conqueror. Congrats to him. Was it in team or 1v1? Hopefully, hopefully, uh, yeah, that's really, that's cool. Congrats, man. He's been, he's been on that grind, huh? There you go. Well, we'll see if it serves him well here in this game. We will see if it serves him well. I do like the Avacid building in the back, sitting here cackling. Uh, as far as techs go, it looks like he is going with the economic tree. So he's going to be starting down the eco tree there, which I don't have all those memorized. I, I need to. I, I remember the old ones, but the new ones are a little bit elusive to my old mind here. Now, landing force here for blue. He lands a scout. So Dandy Dragon lands and is going to be seeing the Chinese colonists who are taking all the stone on this island. And if, you, if I'm China, I'm not letting anybody else on this island. I would build like a couple palace guard or maybe spears, whatever. And anybody uh, who tries to land here, you just hunt them down and, you know, you don't let them settle their feet, to say the least. Right on, Arena. That's awesome. Congrats. Second TC. Definitely want to build it in the back, not near the coast. It's going to get bombarded if you lose your coastline. No aggression yet. Um, oh, wait. Hold up. Smeagol is getting marching drills and iron under mesh, guys. 
Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. So, I don't want to draw too much attention to it. Um, but we have a Burger Egg Palace in the back here. Uh, with the arrow upgrade, as well as marching drills being power researched here on the other side. Oh my god, Smeagol. He is such a tyrant. I love it. This is just like, yeah, the Chinese player is not going to be able to respond to this. Burgrave is like five barracks worth. It's going to be, there's just going to be like 20 men at arms in his base with like arrow upgrades just going apeshit soon. Yeah, so he's first getting the upgrades with the heavy maces. And that upgrade speeds along. And what is he going to do? Just start hitting wood with the rest of these villagers? Oh my god, dude. I love it. This is so funny. This is so sneaky, too. And China is, like, busy in the middle, right? So China is already more in Mortal Kombat with Fish Fish Fry. You can see uh, a little bit of a coastal engagement. We do have an arrow tower here. The Khan is trying to fend off the horsemen, but it is going to get very ugly very, very quickly here, as these men-at-arms are going to be just in the droves. He's in the walls, dude. He is. And this is good, too, because it puts a different landmark on a different island. And since HRE isn't able to really get a lot of relics on this map, like, the Regnants isn't quite as good... Let's look at China's vision. Oh, God. Oh, that's what you get for not scouting, like, half your island, though, man. You know? Like, this is... He deserves this. He's, he's not scouting his island. He's, he's not keeping tabs on things. Now, on the backside, it looks like the Mongols trying to build a uh, step read out here, which is a really good call if they can actually get it off. It's going to be hard, though. See the Spearman moving in, and it looks like he is going to be taken down. But I do like the step read out. Is China going to let him do it is the question. And uh, it's about to be Gotham's Reckoning. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, the triple TC. No military tech whatsoever. He needs to keep pumping out troops, though, and just swarming. So that's what he's going to do. So they moved in. China does have the hand cannon emplacement, so where are they going to go? He's going to idle all these villagers, like every single one of them. Smeagol should be able to just wreck China here pretty hard. All right, so it looks like he's going to attack now. Um, yeah, this is going to be nasty. And he has the arrow upgrades, just more and more guys coming in. China do have the hand cannon emplacements, I believe, on the TCs here, so... Oh, man, this is bad. A lot of those bills are just running for the hills. Desperate micro from Hekra. He might be able to live through this? I don't know. Yeah, just gotta keep those men-at-arms pouring out here. Villagers going down, and now they're being chased to the shoreline. Don't want to be lured into the junks. Men-at-arms are trying to bash him, and, uh, yeah, he's completely idled now. He's got no wood, so he can't even build the tech that he needs, or infrastructure, right? Because he's just idled. Um, so the main TC is gonna get torched down. Men-at-arms are on that one, but with good repair micro, yeah, you see they're barely taking any damage whatsoever. It is a lot of DPS from the three TCs. It's a lot. Um, currently, nothing else going down. A couple of villagers are idle over here, and now they're going to be popping out. Where are they going? They're all Are they all fleeing? Look at that. All the villagers are fleeing to the islands. I love it. I mean, he does have barbecue of the sun here, so China is going to become the Dark Lord of the, uh, of the middle. Wow. Smeagol with the, the Burgrave rush on the edge. Honestly, I would not expect that. Now, as far as other fights go, it looks like there was a landing. Allied Trex tried to... Look, Allied tried to build a town center on Yuravity's island. He tried. And Yuravity was able to spot that and shut that shit down. So that's really funny. Wow. Aside from that, we do have big naval pressure coming in from Docks. So Docks comes in and is punishing Fish Fish Fry's forces. So big navy here. Smeagol, of course, continuing his aggression. So little kind of microcosms of conflict. Oh, Allied. You might have delved too greedily and too deeply, homie. You're about to get a bunch of Kashyyyks in your base. And they're veteran Kashyyyks too, upgraded and ready to party. All right, Yuravity coming for blood. So Allied tried to steal wood from his island and Yuravity is going to be stealing blood from the island here of uh, Allied. As the big invasion force comes, the Chinese base basically in shambles, losing everything but migrating to the middle to try and secure his uh, landmark there. Wow. This game is really, really exploding very, very quickly. Allied desperation trying to build these barracks here, but that's not going to happen. Once again, being very greedy, not building any military infrastructure, uh, even close to the castle age here. Can happen on island maps for sure, but when you have a neighbor like a Mongol neighbor, you kind of have to. Uh, Kashyyyks have arrow upgrades too, their castle age. Allied is probably going to die here. Um, yeah, his two landmarks are very exposed, and I would suspect that Yuravity will keep pumping units in. Um, the Chinese base is basically in shambles. It, it's toast. There's, there's not much more going on. It looks like a lot of men-at-arms exploring. I wouldn't be surprised to see Smeagol build a couple ships, like transport ships, and try and uh, shuttle over to the middle. He's going to be stealing this relic in the meantime, and uh, yeah, just he's still just hunting down everything he can, trying to make sure his opponent isn't going crazy. And this is a huge win as well. Huge win as well. Uh, because 
old Spiegel gets all the island out. He gets all the wood. He gets what's left of the gold, which is still a ton. He gets a full stone node. I mean, this is a huge, huge win for Gollum. A huge win. Uh, so we got some update from chat. Fun little info to add. Play Allied Valdi would never play anything but Delhi until he got comp. Now that he has, he's just starting to learn to pass it. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So yeah, the Delhi, the Delhi is now facing the wrath of a fully erect Mongol. Oh, look at that. Your Abity also steals the relic from him, so poor Allied is going to be paying the troll toll here. As we do see the Bagla Navy come over, but they're not going to be able to stop Your Abity from killing his landmarks. The House of Wisdom is going to be next. Maybe if he could build like a bunch of towers here and try and Helm's Deep. Oh, his boats can maybe protect this little shoreline. He's going to idle some of the bills. He does idle some. Uh, not idle, but gets them in. And uh, yeah, the, these guys might just go to the back and kill his landmark. Yep. Landmark's being attacked, and uh, he is going to be paying the troll toll here. Now, Smeagol, where is he going to go? He's going after the docks. China rebuilding in the middle, and I mean, you know, they're certainly capable of it. Hankra did a good job. He still got 76 eco, which isn't bad at all. Um, Gollum, in the meantime, just fully clearing everything off. And also, Gollum has brought his own warship, so he's got his uh, Holy Roman hulks to come over, and he's shutting down all the food eco of Hankra, which is going to be pretty brutal. Definitely going to slow him down. Because his wood looks a little bit sparse. I wonder if Smeagol's going to go for the kill on the Middle Island. If Smeagol takes the Middle Island too, after all that, that would be huge. And we still have this Mortal Kombat here. We have Fish Fry uh, having a bit of a standoff with the Chinese. They're, they're both kind of eyeing one another. Nice keep by the Chinese player, also getting houses. China's got its one landmark left. So that's pretty much all that's going to be holding them together here as all the Holy Roman Troopers do take those guys down. So Allied... Looking like he could be toast here. Trying to get a keep up. I, I like the scrappiness. You know, he's scrapping hard. He's trying to fight. Trying to get a market. Maybe build some spearmen. Um, they do have the phalanx spears as well as the uh, Gulam. You know, they have some... Abbasid have some really badass infantry, don't they? Well, who do you guys say, in your opinions, is the best infantry save in the game? Like, who really does infantry very well? I'm curious to hear about that. Yep. All the villagers get massacred. And Allied is going to be paying the troll toll to Uravity. Burgrave Palace proudly sitting in the backfield as uh, it looks like Cohesion was thinking about getting aggressive here too. King's Palace, nice choice. Um, White Tower is really good. I think White Tower might be a little bit stronger. Going 2TC, White Tower is probably better than King's Palace because it makes your island harder to kill from land-based invasions. But um, yeah, that is going to be it. Um, the main TC, has it been repaired? No, it has not. Allied trying to build a keep up here, but... Again, he's going to be suffering the curse of the Abbasid, and uh, he will be the first to fall in this game, and he has been eliminated. So, first blood has been drawn. Um, China near death as well. Holy Romans just harrying them and pushing back, like, everything with their boats. Are we going to see these troopers wasted? I don't think so. They need to be loaded up. Yeah, get those transport ships, go to the middle, and try and finish off China while you can. You know, because he could definitely get back in this game. Like, he's got all the middle at his disposal. A little bit of Mongol pressure here. They have some towers, but they're mainly just taking a couple side notes here. Allied checks has fallen. A dying villager sounds. Yeah, Allied does not have any docks, so it looks like he did do a spite delete. So Allied deleted all of his docks before Uravity killed him uh, to make sure Uravity couldn't trade with his body there. But I do like that. Respect that. You know, sending one final message to your conquerors. Green being a tyrant. Docks moving in. Looking very comfortable. Holy Roman, Palace of Swabia. Um, one relic in Regnitz. If he could conquer and get a couple relics out, of course, it'd be nice. Demo ships on the way in, as we do see Smeagol hunting down the Chinese fleet using these demo ships. Gonna be nasty. Oh, contact is made. Doesn't do that much damage against the junk, actually, though. And the other one does make contact. Barely any damage, geez. Yeah, it has to be hitting the right ship type, I suppose. Barbecue holding in there. Double upgrades coming out, and China's gonna be trying to hang in there, but we do see the clock tower. Man, China, with all their landmarks, is so obnoxious to kill. Yep, and the troopers have found the villagers. Some more dying villager sounds. Cue the Yoda death sound. And uh, they are going to be getting karate chopped. And this is probably the end of the Chinese. I mean, they are just, like, so in the pits right now. Um, yeah, nice demo ship right there. It does end up hitting that one, but it's just going to be repairing through that, I suppose. Gravity just destroying whatever he can. Oh, look at that. So Dandy Dragon. Oh, I love it. So Dandy Dragon tries to colonize this island. He comes over because he knows it's a wonder spot. Okay. Isn't that funny? We talked about that earlier in the game. We were like, yeah, the French are going to come. They're going to take this corner island, and they're going to build a wonder on it. We knew that was going to happen, but now Uravity is probably going to try and kill the French. The French need to get a, a keep in their main base. The fact that they don't have one makes them a little bit vulnerable. We do see a keep going down to the shoreline as the French army battles the Kashyyyks. The Arbalists uh, do not have the melee upgrade, so they're not that tanky. So they're actually just going to die, and I don't think he's got enough bills to power out this keep in time. We'll have to see, because the French army there... 
is starting to diminish, um, but I do like his attempt to colonize that island. This has actually been a really, really good um, FFA. Like, really fast action, really dynamic play, uh, interesting strategies, like what we saw from Smeagol over here with the Burgrave Palace. That was super fun. So Men at Arms just gonna run past this keep probably and just go after the villagers. And then they can just torch the Barbican to the sun and that will probably be the end of the road. Um, is Smeagol gonna have more reinforcements coming? Is he gonna make more burger, burger boys? He is. Yeah, he's loading up more Men at Arms on the shoreline over there. And now he knows where the last landmark is. Don't run into the Mongols, don't do it. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that, buddy. You want to go after the last landmark if you can. So it looks like they're going to do that. Villagers idling and running into the TCs and Barbican. I think China can hold this, probably. Oh yeah, with the Barbican plus a keep here, they should be able to survive at least this wave of pressure. Gravity here does push the keep off. Dandy Dragon's attempt to colonize the island has failed. He didn't bring in a good enough army here. But now Dandy Dragon exacting his revenge against Yravity. He's actually building some Galeases, the warships, and using them to harry the coast. And uh, the fishing core of uh, Yravity is going to be in some danger here. But now he's building Baochads. They're not as good as the Chinese ones, but they certainly try. So still pounding away here. Looking at the bank of Henkra, he's very, very low right now. He's got a little bit of fishing, and that's pretty much it. Man at Arms trying to take down this last landmark. No repairs on the clock tower. Definitely would want to get some repairs on that. And the step readout... I have no idea what this thing's doing, but it's basically just sailing around the island, just trolling. And, uh, yep, oh, it's just trying to survive. Okay, because Green just eradicated the Mongol presence on that island. Oh, my God. Yeah, Green is, is definitely a, a, a sea tyrant. He might go down to Smeagol now. We'll have to see. A lot of men at arms sitting on there. Boats have not been loaded up yet. And uh, we have some men at arms here. And the barbecue of the sun is going to be stabilizing. Really good survival. Really, really good survival for sure. Fish Fry is probably in the worst position here, um, considering he just got bullied off the island. He lost his landmarks. Doesn't really have a, a fishing eco whatsoever. Fish Fry is definitely in the pits of hell. As far as this goes, Orange emerging from the corner. So we do get cohesion. And uh, he's going to be moving up with a big old navy. Not sure what he's going to be up to, but we'll find out on today's episode of Dragon Ball Z. And uh, up in the top, huge gold. I mean, hey, at least he's going to get all that gold. He's going to be pretty rich in that department for sure. For sure, indeed. Smeagol, yep, already preparing for the Wonder in the corner. He's got the L's back. He's actually getting upgrades for it. Let's take a look at his bank right now. Nowhere near, obviously, but it's still, there's still a lot of game to be played. And yep, this is nice. Building multiple TCs, getting a keep over here to secure this island and making sure that it is going to be your precious. All of his landmarks are on one island, though. So if Smeagol does lose his island, he could be in danger. I don't see that happening, but... Oh, man. Okay, Uravity looks like he's going to be going for a wonder in the corner. Yep, yep. Uravity's building his own little corner island, uh, making sure the French don't get it. So there is going to be a ton of Mongol towers. He's already getting cannon upgrades, which is nuts. And uh, his bank is okay. It's not like he's near it or anything. A little bit of trade going here. 25 and 25. And then the French are getting 18 and 18. So neither player doing great in the trade department. The French player could maybe go down here to get slightly better trade. But orange could be a problem. So Smeagol now going to be getting attacked by a Corsair Lord. Oh, look at that. We actually have a relic in a dock. Isn't that kind of cool? That's rad. Increases the attack speed of military ships by 5%. Oh, that's rad. What a neat little thing there. Yeah, he's got Burgrave on the Conquered Island. Yep, it's a nice little insurance policy. It certainly is. And uh, yep, they're both just going to be preparing for their corner wonder. Smeagol has one, two, and three relics so far, which is really good. Uh, no Ragnets, of course, but Tithe Barns will still be significant as the game does progress. And uh, nobody else has fallen yet. Mongols trying to get back on the island. Oh, yeah, China, man. Uh, you got to give a big props to Henkra here. He got completely blindsided by Smeagol's rush, but he has found a way to survive and prosper. He's got the Great Wall Gatehouse in the middle, which is going to make him very tough. China with just a million landmarks is so, so annoying to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, Smeagol saved the lobby. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. He might have. That fast Imperial China would be very scary. Now, Uravity going to be shutting down Dandy Dragon's Navy, which makes sense. You want to keep the French contained. Um, Guildhall currently sitting on gold. Looks like it was just collected, maybe? Yep, he just collected a bunch of gold. So let's look at uh, Dandy Dragon. Yeah, he's got a fair amount. Going to be looking to go Imperial. Red Palace, though, it's a shame. He probably wanted to go Red Palace on this island here in the corner. But now I, I suspect we're going to be seeing a Red Palace on his main island. And maybe, like, I don't know where you build it even. He's collecting gold once again, but Uravity does take down Dandy Dragon's uh, resources on the on the shoreline. But no more fishing for Dandy, and uh, yeah, Uravity could invade him as well. Although he does have a good ground army, so I suppose it'd be harder to do. 
Wow, nice green trade. Not bad at all. That's very respectable. It's an 80 round trip, which is you know pretty good. So good stuff here from Dox. Dox is playing HRE. Only one relic, if I'm not mistaken, though. So he's not going to be super tyrannical. But naval trade is, is definitely one of the stronger elements that you can have on these island maps. So if he can maintain that, it shouldn't matter too much. Orange dealing with some of the bully Uravity's forces. Uravity picking off random stuff on the shoreline. As Dandy Dragon, I think, is is kind of resigned to his fate that he's going to be a corner goblin or a, or a land goblin, I should say. Because, yeah, he, he's, he's like really pressured from both sides by very, very strong navies. Yeah, only one person down so far. Nobody's like fully karate chops. Um, China has basically relocated to the center. Smeagol taking whatever resources he can, being very, very greedy. And uh, looking up to the top. Gravity's trade, is it good? Yeah, 25-25. Going all the way around to the tip here. Um, if you could get, yeah, I guess that's about as good as a trade as he's going to get. Cohesion going to be shutting down the trade. I do like that. You know, parking there, making sure nobody else is getting too crunk. Um, wood is going to start running out, like I said, eventually on these islands. Although it doesn't look like he's going even going that hard on wood. He's only got 13 villagers. Turn. have you played against the hardest AI? Uh, no, no. I, I like playing against players. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care for PvE. Um, so looking here, all is calm in the realm. Couple little Mortal Kombat. Smeagol doing the stone wall blockade on his island, slowly but surely. Uh, transporting his relic to the back, probably to be a little bit safer. Or is it the same one? No, he took it from his dock. Okay. So putting it in the back to make sure he can hold on to that. Fish Fish Fry reaches Imperial Age. He's hiding his step reed out in the bushes, or at least that's where it died. And China's uh, kind of back in this, man. They're, they're not like dead, for sure. I mean, Henker's score is, is respectable. Uravity landing, going for the kill. He lands a Kashyyyk army, but Dandy Dragon's forces meet them on the shores. And the French are able to drive the Mongol invaders from their shoreline here, using their keep as well as the Mangonels in the Arbalist position. So Uravity probably realizes that he's going to need to go a little bit harder in the paint if he wants to actually kill him. Dandy doesn't really have a good economy, though. He's only got 10 on food, like berry bush economy, which is pretty bleak. So if Uravity keeps the pressure on, he'll definitely win. The question is, does he want to? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, he's making more of these guys. And uh, over here on the top, these are all cannon towers? A couple of them. Okay, so he does have cannon emplacements in at least two or three of those bad boys. So looking pretty comfortable there. Over to the east side, Green securing his massive trade and uh, just using his big Chungus fleet to do so. China surviving in the middle, just being the island gremlins. Fully upgraded melee force. And it looks like the HRE has landed once again to try and... Try and bash down the uh, landmarks, which is really funny. Does Smeagol have all the upgrades? He does. So he's basically fully upgraded with the exception of one of each of the upgrades that he needs from the blacksmith. But he does have the army tactics and the other good stuff. So he's he's pretty good. Dandy holding on. He's doing it. But still being raided by Uravity. Uravity loading up another invasion force. Uh, Going to be trying to put perpetual pressure on Dandy Dragon. Dandy still has that nice Arbalist army. Um, he definitely, Uravity needs to land with some trebs. If he could land with like five trebuchets and just knock down these keeps, the base would basically be his oyster at that point. You know, he, he'd be able to crack it open and just, you know, feast like the heathen kings of old. Oh, this war makes you sad. It is Age of Empires. Historic, historically accurate. Constant wars. Basically in the nature of humans, sadly. But it is what it is. Colin, hey man, congratulations. Congratulations. Hope you're doing well, man. And uh, I got you covered. The good times are rolling and congrats to you and your family, brother. Up on the top side, oh yeah, that's that's some oh that's some hot trading. Look at this, guys. He discovered it. He discovered it. Hell yeah. Uh, so big trade. He got the little island sacred site, and uh, yeah, he's got 65, 65. That's awesome trading. <clears throat> if Green can find a way to maintain that, that's going to be huge. So Green comes over here and does pound a fish fries navy. So fish fry is going to be sent back to the shadow realm from once he came. Still sitting on a bit of gold, but that's going to be running out very shortly. Uh, this is basically the last node here, about 1800 left on that. And now he just needs to deal with Pink, because Pink is going to come down and harry his trade pretty hard. Oh, these are fishing boats, and it looks like, is Gravity going to be launching his next invasion course? Mm-hmm. Sure as hell looks like it. So he's got Kashyyyks, Kashyyyks, Kashyyyks. Uh, no siege, though. I, I don't know. Like, what he's hoping to accomplish here? I mean, yeah, like, Dandy Dragon's force could probably beat him even without the keep. Uh, he needs... Does he have villagers in there? He's got the Khan. Like, I don't know why he wouldn't just want to bring some bills and build some infrastructure, like some seed shops or something. Dandy Dragon's forces are still Castle Age, though. That is a big advantage the Mongols have here is they're more or less, you know... I don't know, are they elite yet? They are, but they don't have the, uh, the Bloodlines upgrade yet. 
little bit of a naval squabble on the other side, a bit of a three-way fight. We do have yellow battling it out with pink. And green, green trying to control that big Chungus trade route they have on the top of the map, which is very, very strong. No, Austin, I've never tried that game. I have not. I have not indeed. Shoreline fish going hard in the paint, and we do see the explosive junk getting a nice contact there into the big ship. And once again, yeah, he's wearing down Dandy's army. Dandy's starting to run out of steam for sure. Uh, I would imagine Dandy's food sucks pretty bad. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he managed to get some farms back here, so he, he found a way. But the Mongol hand gunners doing very well. Is Yuravity going to be loading up round two? It looks like he is. He really needs to just bring some siege equipment, though. This keep is killing him. That's like literally the only thing that's keeping Dandy alive. Okay, we do see attraction trebuchet. I guess Mongols can build it. Yeah, that's that's true. So they have the upgraded siege engineering, so they're going to be able to build that and just start actually getting proper siege going. So loading up here, we got the double trebuchets being built by Yuravity. Green, is he still trading? Yes, to an extent, but he is being harassed by Yellow. Yellow is trying his best to shut him down. Fish Fry didn't hear no bell, despite being a bit of a gremlin on his island here. Smeagol, uh-oh, Smeagol's coming for it. Okay, Gollum has landed with a big elite men-at-arms army. He does also have a bombard cannon, and he's going to be engaging the tattered Chinese defenders, who are definitely not fully upgraded yet. And Palace Guard get wrecked. Oh, look at that. They're going all the way around to get the artillery. Got to move the bombard cannons up. Oh, don't let him get sniped, Smeagol. Really, really good play by Henkro using his speedy infantry. Oh, but the ram is kind of blocking him a little bit. Bombards. Going to knock down the astronomical clock tower. Um, but not before they get that artillery snipe. They get the trebuchet, but it looks like a bit of a lapse in macro. He probably could have also gotten these two cannons, but that's not going to happen. So clock tower goes down here. Um, Uravity does have the trebuchets on the coast now. The traction treps, so he's got three of them, and this is probably the end of Dandy Dragon. As long as Uravity keeps ferrying over reinforcements, he should have this. Dandy's eco is really poor, and he also only has like eight military buildings, so he's not going to be able to really produce in a very expedient fashion, for sure. Now, looking at the bombards, did they survive? They did, and um, yeah, it keeps going to go down. This could be the end of China. China's also being trolled on the other side. Like, they, they just have really been forced into a hard situation. Looking at the eco of Henkra, pretty good, actually. I mean, he's got 121 eco. Springald's being spammed out. I do like that. Smeagol needs to use the bombards to knock down this keep, like, right now if he can. Nest the Bees, very good defensive piece. Obviously, you saw last game how good it was against me. Really giving us the dirty. And uh, here comes the Mender Arms. Sprinting to the north. Going to be intercepting the artillery. Very fortunate for them to get that. And the bombard cannons, uh, which look like submarines when they move. It's very weird. Going to be moving up to start hitting that keep down, so good damage. And Dandy Dragon basically dead. Uh, I don't think he's got... Oh, is he going to try and do a Ninja Red Palace set up on the island? That's really funny. He, he's probably going to try and build it right here, which actually is hilarious. Does Dandy have enough to do it? No, he doesn't. No, but he could buy food. Does he have a market? Buying enough food to go Red Palace there would be very funny. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dandy, no! No, not like this. He doesn't notice the Cannon Tower has line of sight on him. Okay, he gets the villagers out. He's going to run to the corner, probably, and try and build a landmark there. In the meantime, his base is just being hammered, and it looks like Dandy was able to snipe the last artillery. With a little bit of a flank from some very brave French knights. Smeagol, in the meantime, is he able to get the keep down? And it looks like it's very, very close to going down. Smeagol doesn't have much more to land here. A lot of repairs going. A lot of villagers being pulled here from Henkra. He's trying everything he can to survive. Currently, his food is very, very low. Bombard cannon knocking this thing down, but it looks like Smeagol's push is going to be thwarted. Wow, look at that, man. Very, very good defense here. Smeagol, in the meantime, taking over this island. Um, he is almost fully walled here. He's got about half of his island walled. A couple little choke points here and there. Uh, looking at the current resources, is anybody going to be going wonder anytime soon? Probably your Avity would be the closest. Well, I don't know. He doesn't have a lot of wood. He's, he's definitely spending a lot of money trying to kill, um, trying to kill Dandy here. And Dandy hasn't heard any bell. Dandy's going strong. Uh, looks like those villagers that tried to make a run by all got taken out by the cannon towers as they did. TC here in danger. Another battering ram's going to be pushing out as the keep here continues to pick off these archers. Orange with a landing force on Smeagol. Okay, so look at this. We do have, I think there's no fighting here. And Smeagol's little precious island here could be taken out. I mean, he does have the burger palace with which to make troopers, but... Yeah, it looks like Cohesion is actually going to go for this. I like this a lot. Yeah, he's got rams, and there's a shit ton of wood here, and that's going to become, like, spice. It's like spice on island maps in Dune, right? It's like you you, you got to... The wood must flow. It becomes more valuable than gold at a point. Otherwise, you get really trapped. Hankra is really good. He is. He, he's he's clearly... Most people would have died to this pressure, but he was able to survive and, and in some ways thrive, actually. 
He's not trying to disrupt trade, maybe not trying to make any enemies. If I were Henkra, I'd probably put up a couple towers here to shoot these trade ships down just to try and slow down the game. Make sure other people aren't as tyrannical. Smeagol is going to be responding. He already has an army here, which is pretty funny. So these invaders, cohesion. Uh, he might get this keep down. If Smeagol emerges here, pairs though, it should be able to hold. We'll have to see. Dandy Dragon paying the troll toll here. Um, his keeps are going down. Your Avity is going to get yet another relic. And this is good though. You you can't let you can't let the French live on island maps. The French are just way too strong. Oh my God! I love it. Oh, I love this so much. Come on! Come on, Dandy! Okay, I think Dandy's gonna get it, unless Pink reacts to him. No! No! Dandy Dragon! Oh, he was so close to surviving! Oh, that feels bad. Oh, poor Dandy. Alright, well, Dandy tried. But Pink noticed and was able to bring a big army over. And, um, yeah. Man, that would've been really cool if that actually worked out. That would've been really fun, but it's not gonna work out. And the Red Palace gets cancelled. Might as well start building it down here, to be fair. But yeah, Gravity is still purging through his base. Yeah, he's, he's trying. So looking around, we do see the big battles going down on the island. Smeagol's going to be able to probably crush the attackers, I would wager. He already had an attack force there ready to go, so I think he's more than happy to just, you know, chill out here. Dandy Dragon tried so hard and got so far. Blasting some early 2000s... Uh, yeah, you know, early 2000s rock music was very angsty, right? Like, when you listen to, like, Hybrid Theory and Meteora and those, like, early Linkin Park albums, very, very angsty. Um, same with the 90s, though, too. Like, 90s was darker, though. Like, I feel like early 2000s was very angsty, in a way, but, like, when you go to, like, early 90s, like, like Alice in Chains, their, their songs are amazing. Some of the best music out there, in my opinion, but, like, super depressing. Like, Alice in Chains, most of their songs are just about, like, addiction, suffering, Growing old, like losing <laughs> losing friends and family. It's just like, yeah, it's like bleak. Yeah, it's bleak. But anyways, a tangent for another day. All right. So, still cruising about. Same with Soundgarden. Like, Soundgarden songs fell on black days. Uh, you know, like all, most of their songs, like, like Suicide, um, Fourth of July, like, you know, Black Hole Sun, they're all pretty dark songs. Yeah, Korn, Korn was a 90s band, but they were also very prominent in the early 2000s, too. Yeah, for sure. Alright, so Dandy Dragon is basically going to die. He did manage to get the Red Palace up, which is pretty chad. Look at Dandy just fighting tooth and nail to live. His will to live is impressive, but that is a lot of rams, and that's going to be the end of old Dandy here. As the Red Palace landmark does go down to the corner. And, um, yep. Trying to repair it. A couple of Kashyyyk should be able to polish them off, and then they're going to head up. The uh, orange invasion of Smeagol's Island has completely fallen, and orange could be next on Smeagol's list. Um, orange is English, though. Does he have Berkshire on his island? I would suspect so. Uh, Berkshire, Berkshire, Berkshire. No way he's still Castle Age, right? Berkshire. Okay. So that's going to make him very, very tough to finish off. It would take considerable effort. So we see repairs going down here. Danny did get Imperial Age on the corner, but the Rams must feast. I hope they I hope they make Rams cost like three supply instead of one. That would be way better. You know, that would be way better. One is just too much. They're only one supply, right? Alright. So battering ram's gonna be heading up this way. Up on the top side, we do have um huge naval engagement. Looks like the Mongols gonna be doing battle with the Holy Roman Empire's fleet. Uh Holy Roman's still fighting for trade, which is good. You know, if they're trading and their opponent isn't, they can keep hemorrhaging armies and uh, you know, building them back there. Dandy Dragon has fallen, so so far Allied Trex and Dandy are our two mighty champions who have met to the end. In the middle, Henkra is very much alive. Dude, look at this Chinese eco. 86! We got 86 villagers here. Oh my god, that is just pure savage in terms of income. He's got keeps, he's got the Great Wall Gatehouse. I don't think he's going to get his island back anytime soon. It's being fought over pretty hard. Smeagol in a bit of a naval engagement with uh, Orange, but Orange actually has a bigger navy, so he's able to push Smeagol back. Smeagol is at risk of maybe being pushed off water right now. At which point, you know, he could consider going Wonder, you know, just collect the resources and buy stone. And uh, Smeagol's gathering stone right now. He's not buying it. He does have his prelate here trying to keep these villagers going because they're literally taking cannonballs to the face. Gravity is going to be a big problem, though. The fact that he's got the whole top to himself, kind of. Like, Gravity has cleared out a lot of the natural predators. Gravity is like when they release like some like, you know, like like prey animal into uh, somewhere where it doesn't have predators and it just overpopulates here. That's basically what's happening here. He's got he's got this and this. Like he took out two of his neighboring threats. Um, so getting to him is going to be a little bit tougher, right? 
Yeah, island defenses for Mongols are pretty good too. You just have those like towers, and uh, you have infinite stone with your uh, with the right landmark, and you just uh, have mass cannon towers. Plus, you can get it from trade as well. You can get it from trade, indeed. All right, down here, Smeagol is being pushed into the Shadow Realm. Big orange navy. Orange should definitely keep up the momentum while he can. Um, Smeagol is, is is a cunning cunning fighter. You don't want to let him go. If you take your foot off the pedal, you know he's going to be able to rebuild and laugh his way all the way to the bank here. So here they come. We do see the Karax heading over. And the big Daka is now underway. So Hulk's shooting. Hulk smash. Uh, comes down to micro on the demo ships. You need to snipe the demo ships if you can. Yep, demo ship's not going to make it. Smeagol should have probably a little bit more discreet with them, although one does make it. Well played. So he does connect with one of those. But overall, the Orange Navy, the English Navy, does seem a little bit stronger than the HRE force in terms of numbers. But the home field advantage does lie in Smeagol. Depends if he's going to have... Oh, Smeagol. Wow, Smeagol has no wood. What's going on with him? He's got no wood. That's what she said. He's just, he's just suffering in that department. Wow. Okay, so yeah, he's going to just get stuffed out of the water here by the orange player. And Smeagol's going to become an island goblin. As a matter of fact, what he's probably going to do is land on the English base. You see how he's trying to build transport ships over here? Pretty big telltale sign that he wants to do a landing on uh, orange. But orange, as long as orange micros well, he should be able to push Smeagol, completely crush him out of the water. Um, on the island, we do have a fair amount of gold. A little bit of a trade ship action here, but no major conflicts anymore. Your Abadi probably just going to be trying to secure a good eco at this point. Down here at the bottom. What have we got? Sorry, I was using my left hand to pan over while I take a sip of water here. Yeah, he, he Smeagol wants to invade. Um, not going to be easy, though. I mean, invading an English island is no joke. And the English player is ready, too. He's got, like, a lot of infrastructure. Um, Barcher isn't really protecting the critical mass of the island, though, which definitely a mistake. Um, having Barkshire on the coastline is cute, but I think having it like right here in the center protecting all of your farm eco probably would be a little bit stronger overall. But Smeagol is uh, basically an island goblin now. Smeagol is like an infestation. If you want to get rid of him, you got to be thorough. Yeah, it's true. It's like bed bugs. <laughs> it's like bed bugs in the, in the back of Henker's mattress. Oh, China's revenge! China wants their land back, baby. Here we go. If he builds a keep here. Wow, if he comes back and actually is able to resecure his lands, that would be super impressive. But he needs to get some infrastructure up stat, or else he's going to just lose to Smeagol's forces. All right, so we do see archery ranges being built. Um, China does have a couple of chads, and he's going to start taking down Smeagol's building. Smeagol does have a good standing army here. But China, I suspect, will be able to make some units pretty quickly, and he is going to be coming to get his island back, which is going to be really, really powerful. Yeah, look at that. So still moving up. HRE army coming to intercept. Up at the top, <clears throat> China being harried by the Mongols. So Henkra is going to be attacked by the Mongolian overlord Yuravati. Yuravati probably going to try and kill China next, I would, I would guess. A lot of rams coming in, but he's not producing anything out? Okay, now he is. He's, he's getting elite crossbow upgrades right as we look here. But China's army is not that great. The Baochads can park near the shore and probably fend off Smeagol's forces for now. And uh, HRE is going to be panic building a keep. Look at this random orange navy coming across and just disrupting everything. Pretty funny. This is a very, very chaotic game. Very, very chaotic game. All right. Looking on the other side. What do we got? South side, Baochad circling about. Gravity doing some raiding on the Chinese, which is smart. Because every building he kills is going to be shutting, uh, not only shutting down your opponent, but also getting access to the Mongolian bounty. So if we switch here, you'll see. When he lights these buildings on fire, it's going to be giving him a little bit of money. See, there it goes. And 75 stone to boot, which is great for his uh, corner cannons. Smeagol able to hold on. China's uh, invasion here did fail. Looks like Hanker tried to move around, but the elite men at arms able to chase those units down and screen those bad boys out. Over on the top side, Green Navy coming down. And man, poor Fish Fry has been just getting, getting it all game. Like, if you look at Fish Fry, he's being attacked from the south by Smeagol, um, here from Orange, and then also Green from the top. Fish Fry would probably be the next person to die here, I suspect. It depends on who decides to invade them. I mean, any land-based invasion would probably crush this Mongol player. He's looking very, very weak right now after just an entire game of being absolutely pounded by all of his foes. Down to the south, Smeagol was able to hold his island. He's, he's hanging in there like a champion. Uh, and again, I think going to be planning a, a naval invasion or a ground invasion of Orange is probably his game plan. Is China going to do anything here? No, it looks like they just want to defend their own coast. So their Bao Chad's going to be fighting the Mongol Chad's. Both of which <clears throat> are fully upgraded. Gravity not entrenching any further. Smeagol not entrenching any further either. Although, eh, 
Actually, hold up. Smeagol's got a lot of st upgraded stone cannon towers in his base. Um, is he even close? His food is not great. His stone is not great. He's going to have to start buying stone, and Tithe Barns will get him there eventually. Hey, David. I'm glad you enjoy the videos, man. Yeah. Gravity's probably very rich. Holy shit. Oh, he's such a tyrant. The Lord of Scotland is here, dude. The Highlander. <laughs> that should be your Gravity's nickname, the Highlander. Oh, man. That'd be rad. All right. So we got the bow chads going, and uh, they're going to keep just ba blasting through these bad boys. Over here on the east side, China going to be taking the sacred site. Not going to be doing anything aside from giving them a little bit of money. And yeah, China, China's got its little middle colony. I don't know. Why are they letting this trade happen, though? Oh, my God, that green trade. Look how many trade ships just turned in, guys. We just had 26 trade ships. Dude, let's look at his gold right now. Dox is very rich, too. He doesn't have, like, any gold income outside of his trading, but goddamn. Goddamn, Joe Rogan. That's a lot of trade. That's a lot of trade right there. Sacred Sight taken. And down here, no real fights. Smeagol just kind of chilling out. Gravity definitely probably the powerhouse right now, economically. He is bullying Henkra back onto the land, so he's probably going to just encircle the island and kill whatever Dox he possibly can. Very, very nasty indeed. There can only be one. I know, it's true. Those are great movies too, by the way. Those are great movies. I gotta rewatch those. It's been so long. Yeah, the, the I think one. Yeah, they have Sean Connery in there. Yeah, that's some stuff. That's some stuff indeed. So looking over to the west, what do we got here? Yep, uh, Mongols just cackling. To the south, England just farming to their heart's content. Berkshire Palace securing the western coastline while their massive navy should definitely be active. I mean, Smeagol has been pounded into the land though. Smeagol is not going to be getting to see very easily he has found a little bit of pocket where he can rebuild here yeah christopher lambert that's right dox is the lumber lord he is he sure is yeah dox is going to be able to really support uh, a navy for a long time if he wants to i suspect your avity will go wonder eventually um when i mean he could build one right now funnily enough but it'd be super hard to hold he needs, there needs to be a couple more players that fall before your Abity tries that. So the middle player, Henkra, is being harried and surrounded. So the Orange Navy has come and it's just pounding down his coastline. His fishing boats desperately trying to stay on line right here. And looking to the top, looks like a landing force is coming. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Oh my god, what is this? Oh man, he's got 16, 21, 24 rams and 15 palace guard going to Smeagol's base. Oh god, that's so funny. Like, he's just, he's got the blood feud, guys. I mean, granted, look, Smeagol's always a threat, so it's never a bad idea to take him out. But it, it looks like he wants to kill Smeagol, but he's about to run into the Orange Navy. You better be careful. Probably just landing here and knocking down the walls is your best bet. That is so incredibly troll. Um, Smeagol obviously has his whole army here, but he does not have much here. All right. Here it comes. The Rams are going to start hitting the walls, I would imagine. Yep, immediately. And uh, it's not like a great army. Yeah, and China's having a hard time. They're they're being hit pretty hard here. Like both sides, Gravity and the English are both giving them the dirty. Oh my God, the Ramstein <laughs> just moving in. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and here comes the uh, Palace Guard to trying to defend them. They might be able to fight initially, but the Rams are going to do some damage here for sure. I mean, that's that shit ton of Rams, and Rams are super annoying. So, yeah, villagers pulled. Obviously, very smart. Palace Guard going to be diminished pretty quickly here. Um, and yeah, the Rams maybe kill a couple buildings, but overall Smeagol should be able to hold this without too much damage. This is very funny. I, I don't know if it's worth it, um, but overall it's sending a message that I'm coming for you. You know, this is <clears throat> this is the blood feud. So the Chinese Palace Guard, they need to get over here and start killing villagers if they can. Looks like they're going to. And the Rams keep making their way through the base. Still have a hell of a lot of them. Aachen Chapel is going to go down here. Villager is going to get to uh, absolutely torched by these uh, Palace Guard here. So they're going to start dropping in substantial numbers. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a big ram push, guys. That's a big-ass ram push there. TC getting emergency repairs. Holy Romans showing their durability. Smeagol does have some uh, production on this island. And is he going to be landing anything? No, just empty transport ships. And uh, China is going to be forced back here. Looks like Yellow trying to fight his way off the island. Not having too much luck here. Smeagol losing a landmark. But, oh, he did. He landed his men-at-arms. Look, he ferried them over. Nice micro there. So all he really loses is Aachen and maybe a handful of villagers. Really good for him. He managed to keep access to his, uh, not access, but to keep his cannon towers for the inevitable wonder hold. So Smeagol with a very nice hold there. <clears throat> not taking too much damage. 
China still having a bad time in the middle. Basically, like, they can't have anything near the water. Anything they have near the water basically just gets absolutely trash canned. Um, Orange really, really just encircling him. As far as trade goes, green is still trading a little bit, I think. Um, do we see the trade route coming? Yeah, he's still got a lot of traders, actually. So green is really, really rolling in it. Dox does have good food and good wood. So he's, he's doing it. <clears throat> Smeagol rebuilt some of his walls, I think. And for now, is more or less stable in the corner. Smeagol's bank, let's take a look at it. 12,000 gold is good. But the food eco needs some milk. Um, he needs to get that Aachen Chapel back online and try and get that food economy going again or else he's going to be overwhelmed. China might just die. China has 64 idle villagers that literally have nothing to do. I mean, they could build a couple farms here, but wood is very precious. So yeah, China's just going to have to sit here and just hope for the best. Hope these other players kind of juke it out and have those mortal combats with one another. <clears throat> See you guys talking about it, the Alien franchise in chat. Did you you guys know there's a uh, they're rebooting the franchise? Yeah, they're doing the um, they're redoing. I think it's called Alien. Uh, God, what is it? What's the name of it? But yeah, they're doing a new Alien movie. That's very apparently going to be very much in the vein of the originals, um, which is pretty exciting. And it's being directed by the guy who did the Evil Dead movie, um, and also he did a couple other ones like Don't 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 Breathe or something. I can't remember. Yeah, but apparently he's a pretty good director. Um, and he already finished the director's cut of it and showed it to Ridley Scott, and Ridley Scott really liked it. Um, so that's good news. I don't know. I, the Alien franchise is awesome. Absolutely awesome. They're doing a show as well. Okay, I didn't know about the show. That's cool. Alien is my wife's favorite movie, so you know I'm, I'm excited to enjoy those with her. They're very fun. Yeah, Orange just kind of cackling on the deep seas now, getting some nice trade. A hundred round trip, very respectable with this island down here, trading from the bottom. Shout out to Orange. Cohesion doing a great job. A great, great job. Smeagol uh, still has good wood on the island, a fair amount of wood. I mean, we're not even an hour into the game yet. Um, two players down. Surprised we haven't seen another player fall. Fish Fry is very, very scrappy. Very, very scrappy. Uh, how do you feel about... You know, I didn't enjoy the alien... Like the there was there was two new alien movies they made. There was I think there was Prometheus and then there was another one, I think. They were okay. Like look, I have very low standards for movies. You know, like I, I I'll if you put on a Steven Seagal movie that's just absolute trash, I can sit there and enjoy it for what it is, you know, for how terrible it is and enjoy that. Um But yeah, I don't know. They were okay. It was it was fine. I it didn't like give me that. Like, the original Alien movies, I don't know, like, you have the, obviously, the original. Like, the fear on that spaceship is, like, pretty serious, right, um, on the ship. And then, like, the, the Marines one, like, the next Alien movies, the ones where they have, like, the, the colonial Marines and, like, they're, they're, they're setting traps for the aliens. Like, it wasn't as good as the original, but it was still fun, like, seeing the early space Marines versus, like, aliens, basically. I thought that was cool. Um, and I, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I, I liked the, the Colonial Marines one. I, th I thought that was that was very fun. Yeah. It was, it was, it was okay. All right. And, like, Ripley is so cool, too. You know? she was She's just, like, the coolest character. Like, when she gets in, like, the giant mech suit and fights, like, the alien queen. Or, or when she's, like, you know, goes from being, like, scared into, like, war mode. You're like, hell yeah. It's like, she's such a such an iconic, solid character. They would need someone like her. You know that she was just like she was the, the the backbone of that of that whole of that whole franchise in my opinion or one of the backbones. Um, all right, so what do we got here? <laughs> Poor Yellow can't catch a break. He's like trying to lumberjack a tree on his coastline, and the Mongols don't really have like yeah they're desperately trying to hold in the corner with the remnants of their navy, but they have no way to get their landmark back. There's no trade. Green is just like uber uber tyrannical, and. Um, and here they come. So big pushes, the Karax swarming down. Nastiness. And you can see those guys get pushed back here. Sigourney Weaver is just a great actress too. Like she's so good. Yeah, she carried that. Like she's she was she was awesome. Man, if they could get her to come back and like reprise her character. I know Hollywood does that a lot. They they drag these old actors out of retirement and just like make a terrible movie. But if they could like do it justice, yeah, like they did that with the uh, the Halloween franchise, right? They just like so haggard. And same with like Terminator 2. Like that franchise just went to the pits of hell. Awful shit. Awful. All right, so Green coming in with the crushing force. It's going to be obliterating Fish Fry's last vestiges of defense. 
Fish fry basically just going to be a potato on this island now. Um, not really going to be able to contribute much to the affairs of the map. Gravity doing some okay trading, nothing serious. Um, currently, Gravity's bank though is pretty nuts. Uh, he hasn't entrenched the island too much though. I'm surprised. Like, why is there not more towers being preemptively set up? You know, I feel like that should be there. Oh, never mind. Oh, because he's going to do it in his base. Okay. Yeah, right here, guys. Right here, the wonder is going down. Holy shit. I look away for a second. Dear God. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's that's awesome. Yeah, okay. So he's going on his main island, which is going to be, you know, a good idea as well. Um, yeah, both are very feasible, so. All right, so yellow basically karate chops. Somebody might as well come and put him out of his misery. Just He's just, like, starving. He's got six villagers active right now in the eco. He does have 16,000 wood, so he can build transport ships. China has basically taken over the Middle Island, um, but they're going to run out of resources. Look, look, look at this, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at Ankara. He wrote, why me? I love it. <laughs> I always miss those writings to me. Oh, man. Look at that. He says, why me? <laughs> He's just suffering, just being surrounded and constantly beaten down. But, dude, I think Henkra this game is just the absolute Chad. He, is, he has been taking beatings from multiple players, but just recovering. Absolutely recovering. So Orange, in the meantime, controlling Smeagol. Smeagol going to be basically just Helm's Deeping in the corner. Uh, Smeagol is buying stone now a little bit, it looks like. It's hard to tell. Um... Gravity is going to plop a wonder down soon. It's only a matter of time. There needs to be more people who fall. It looks like China is going to be going to try and shut down some trade here. Meanwhile, orange on the bottom. Just English things, just farming, you know, living a peaceful life here. Why are we here? If, if somebody could actually spell why are we here just to suffer, like that full, that full sentence, a couple sentences, that would be so funny. You know, China could do some really haggard trade. They could, like, have a trade post here and trade across the island. It would give them probably... No, it's probably not even worth it, to be honest. Yeah, probably not even worth it. So Smeagol losing some villagers on the periphery, but Smeagol still has access to wood. You know, Smeagol does have good island resources, despite the fact that he's being harried and he has become an island troll. Um, you know, he does have access to plentiful resources with which he can maybe, maybe make some sort of a hold here, so... We'll see how that goes. Villagers being pulled back at this point, and, uh, and yeah... It's good times. Good times indeed. Over to the west side, what do we have? We do have the Mongolians uh, with what appears to be pretty average trade. Not very good. A mediocre probably is more the apt word to describe that. Big trade coming from the top side over to the east. Uh, finally, somebody is putting the Mongols out of their misery here. So Dox lands a couple of troopers, and uh, it should be enough. I mean, they literally have a couple towers. A cannon placement's about to finish. You're going to want to finish that one. Not sure why he's running. He had a good opportunity to finish him here. It looks like he's trying to gather up his troopers, but yeah, I mean, you could definitely have finished that tower off pretty quickly there. So, big naval fight going down, and oh, wait, do we just, do we get a wonder built in the shadows? Oh my god, your Avity powered out the wonder! Wow, look at that. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at this filth. Look at the filth. Alright, uh, I don't think anybody's going to be quick enough to get a sacred response to this. But yeah, they're, they're going to be having to come and fight Gravity now. Gravity going to be spamming Manganels and Siege Equipment here, probably. Um, does he have enough to delete his eco? Oh, yeah. Gravity could delete all of his food eco. No problem. And just, like, continue feasting for a long time. Fighting off the Chinese fleet. Orange is on his way now. But, like, they're going to need uh, to land, right? Smeagol on the backside, cackling it out. But Smeagol was just chilling here. Uh, you know what I suspect is going to happen? I think Smeagol might not help with the wonder, and he might just um, he might just counter wonder himself. Let's see if he's buying. Oh, uh, he's not buying, but yeah, he's getting closer to a wonder of his own. So we got more navy coming out. Looks like gravity is going to be focusing mainly on the navies right now. Look at the look at the cannons! Look at the cannon towers just blasting these boats into the shadow. <laughs> oh, that's so cool looking. A couple of those cannon towers will go down here. Gravity's dread fleet on its way now and we do see the fall of Dox's forces Mongols are really nasty on, on, on in general in FFA because they don't need uh, stone but yeah sure you need a little bit more of your primary resources but stone is always scarce and Mongols can pretty much always wander orange with a huge navy coming up so it's pretty good quality too it's Karax a lot of the trade ships of gravity going to be taken down so I have to say I'm very pleased with how quick the uh, the lobby is reacting like there has been attacks on him constantly since he started 
So shout out to the players here. It's, it's always nice to see that. Same in like the Dune Spice Wars game. When you see players react to like a governor victory or something like that, it's, um, it's very fun. It's very fun indeed. All right. So your Abadi probably going to be able to defend this off. He's got a big... Oh my god. He's, he's got a huge Chad Navy. Green, though, creating a little bit of space on the coastline. Your Abadi going to be setting up more towers inland. And uh, yeah, so far so good. I mean, he's forcing back multiple navies here. The cannon emplacements are trading okay. But of course, the Karaks still are able to knock them down with pretty good efficiency. And your Abadi will probably split his navy. Probably would be a good idea to split and protect those cannon towers on the coast. But God, look at this filth! Oh, a lot of them aren't upgraded though. Does he have enough to actually upgrade them? Let's see. No, he doesn't. Okay. A lot of those cannon towers are not upgraded. He's going to have to make a ground-based army soon. I don't know what he's going to make. Maybe Kashyyyk's? Uh, mass spring alts would be pretty sweet if you're your Abadi. Mass spring alts and mangonels sitting under towers is like one of the most foul things you could possibly do. As a matter of fact, like, why not cut your eco, your food eco, all of it, and just uh, mass spring alts? And, uh, you know, defend that way. That, that might be strong, although I guess the, that and the navy together could be really, really good. Oh, he tries to land some men at arms. But no, he's going to be pushed back by your Abadi's dread fleet. Here comes China. Hell yeah. Look at this. You know, shout out to Henkara, man. This man has been just suffering nonstop this game. And he is still contributing. He's a team player. He's playing to win, baby. Shout out to you, man. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. He just has to make sure he doesn't encounter your Abadi's force here. Um, if your Abadi notices all these transport ships. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's so many rams here. 23 rams. Okay, that's a lot. That's a ton of siege. That's actually very good. Looks like they're going to be gathering Smeagol in the meantime. I think he's just being greedy in the bottom. Not, he's not buying any stone. Why are you not buying stone? Interesting, he's not. Um, oh no, Smeagol's going to be trying to help. Look at that. Yeah, so Smeagol, uh, I was wrong about him. He's actually going to go up and help. Shout out to Smeagol. That's good. I, you know, I like when people play to win. That's my favorite thing. When people like purposefully throw or like play Kingmaker, they're like, you know, I, I always like am a little bit sad when that happens. I like when people, everyone plays to win. Even if it's like a 1% chance, you could still come back and win. Go back and watch my last stream if you don't believe that, dude. I was like the absolute potato and, and the Ottomans were able to come back with a dub. Just like, you know, things can happen. Oh, man. Okay, look, he's blocking with the fishing boats. And the transport ship's not able to land. The Green Navy here chasing him down and those transport ships are going to be fleeing the scene. Big push coming here. Your Abadi currently is at 10 minutes. That's still a long time to hold, ladies and gentlemen. And he's not making much on the island. Like, is, what does his supply look like? Yeah, I guess he's he's got a lot of idle supply. Like, why is your Abadi not making a military on his island? It's a little bit perplexing, because that's what it's going to come down to here, for sure. He's making towers. But so far, he's, he's going to be losing the naval fights. And if he doesn't have a na military, his opponent's just going to land with 23 rams and start making really, really solid progress, actually. All right, so coming over here is the push. Wonder might have been better on this corner too, because um, I guess all of his landmarks are on the other island. Yeah, I guess that's why he did it. Oh no, he's sinking Pink's transports. Oh god, he lost so much there. Oh no, this one has five rams in it. No, green. Oh no, green just thwarted that push. Now there's only 11 rams. It's at half strength. So green does have a good landing force, but it's mainly men at arms here. Your Abadi's force is being hammered by green's navy. Man, that was a big loss. And now we do see Smeagol, the Dark Lord Gollum, is on his way. Where are the ground defenders for your Abadi? What's going on here? Okay, now he's making it. Okay, there you go. I didn't see it. Uh, for, for a moment, I thought he wasn't doing anything. I was like, God damn, dude, you're going to have a problem here. All right, here comes the Rams. There they go. There goes my hero. There's the Rams. Rams going to be a problem. Your Abadi's going to have to split his forces to fight this. Naval embargo in full effect, so he is fully going to be defensive on the island here. Now the question is, is your Abadi going to be able to defend? The cavalry move up. Going to be killing quite a few of these rams, I would imagine. Men at arms flank. Look at this, the Haggard Siege Workshop being built in the corner. Wow, really good response from the lobby. Really, really good response. I am very impressed with all these players. This is a great, great response here. Okay, your Abadi pulling back with his trebuchets, and uh, he was able to successfully defend the flank over here. But now there's going to be another wave. If your Abadi can survive this wave, maybe he has a chance. But this is a, a lot of pressure from several players here. Granted, they can't really establish beachheads because of the nature of his tower setup. So that's very, very strong. And your Abadi's force is going to come across and crush here. 
Meanwhile, south side's looking relatively in control over to the east side. Gravity's force is able to push back the attackers here. Gravity's probably all in. Yeah, he deleted his eco, which is very smart. Um, when you're going all in like this and, you know, it's do or die, you just got to hope that you have enough resources to hold, basically. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be able to make archers and basic units all day. So the ramps are thwarted. Um, are these towers going to be upgraded in the back? Yeah, probably a couple cannon towers will get upgraded here. Trebuchet's moving out to fight the boats. Definitely not what they want to be doing. Should probably pull those back before they die, because he won't be able to rebuild them. Smeagol with a big landing force, though. Over on the east side, Smeagol has landed. We do see the Dreadlord, the elite men-at-arms, cannons, couple rams, and also Karax to help defend. Every ounce of damage you can do to your Avity is going to be huge. Your Avity needs to make more troops. He's slipping a little bit on the macro, which is I always do as well. When I'm panicking and trying to defend from multiple angles, it's like, yeah. Oh, I do like the keep from Smeagol. That would be really, really strong. That would make it very hard to push him off, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. As a matter of fact, looks like he's going to lose the resources. Uh, but Yuravity coming with his full force up at the top. Huge navy. They got to start deleting their navies. The problem is a lot of people do this on island maps. They, they don't delete their navies in, in lieu of a landing force. Because at this point, it's got to be maybe like a quarter of your army is your navy to support your landing. And then the rest of it is, uh, you know, elsewhere. Wow, he crushed, absolutely crushed Smeagol's business there. Yeah, absolutely crushed it. All right. So looking here. We do see the uh, cannons clearing out the coastline well. Villagers are basically just on repair mode here. And that wave has uh, gone. So now there's basically going to be one more chance for the attackers to uh, make a big push at it, right? So Henkra is going to... Henkra is coming. Yeah, it's a big force there. It's a big force. 56! Dear God, 56 battering rams, dude! That might be a record! Oh my god! So the mangonels are coming out. He needs spring alts too. Mangos are, are okay against ships, but spring alts are way, way better. Um, okay, 56 battering, battering rams are about to be just coming in balls deep here. The Chinese, the Chinese hero. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Looks like the navy is going to be moving up again. Um, is Smeagol going to load up another force? I think he is. I think he's already on his way. Let's see. Um, hard to say. Is Smeagol going to go for a counter wonder? He's not. No, he's actually uh, trying to help. Pink has got a dread fleet. He needs to just land before he gets his boat sunk again. All right, so pulling back here. Orange, unfortunately, not landing, just picking off towers in the coastline. Um, Smeagol still trading. Green is loading up a landing force here, I would imagine. Yeah, okay, he's coming with rams and men-at-arms and rams. Dear God, dude. The Ramstein, it was prophesized, though. <laughs> it's like, they're just like a meme at this point, right? FFA accentuates it even more. But, I mean, probably Yuravity is going to be able to stop it. Oh, my God. Look at them. They're going for it. Do the Chinese have any boats here? They do have a couple boats, which are going to be hammering. And the boats are killing a lot of his army here. All right. So the rams are trying, but they are being blockaded. But that is 56 rams. That is so much HP. Oh, my God. If those rams had come from the west, yeah, maybe. But there's still an army here that would be able to block them. So, holy shit. They're just pathing to the wonder. And your is going to be panicking and pulling his forces here. You might as well just kill infrastructure at this point if you're Chinese. Um, and make it easier for the next person that lands. Um, where's the landing forces here? The other players need to be landing better. Um, they're not doing the best job at reinforcing with, like, landing parties. Um, but even still, the rams are going to be stopped. Not before they do some good damage, though. They definitely push back a couple layers of towers. You can see towers going down all over the place. That's going to make it much easier to push for these uh, players. Gravity sitting at uh, four minutes. That's a long ass four minutes, guys. Because the thing is, Henkra is going to have another landing party ready in a minute. You can see he's already got another one, like primed and ready. Um, Smeagol, what is Smeagol up to? Does he have a landing party? He does. Smeagol's coming with a big force, too. 57 men at arms. Uh, no villagers, which is a bit of a shame. Villagers would help out. But those rams did good. They killed a lot of towers, which is going to make it easier for the other players to push. On the south side, orange not really landing with anything. We do have Rams infrastructure coming up here, but a little bit late. A little bit late. You know, he's still containing, but yeah, you can't really reach anything. Boats are picking off some horsemen here. Every little bit counts. Gravity supplies, um, pretty good. Yeah, he can still stay maxed out on, on basic armies. Um, Rams being built here by the Holy Romans. Good play. Holy Romans sending in a couple Rams to kill whatever infrastructure they can. And Henkra is coming back for round two, dude. Oh man, the Duhast is coming. It is just the, the blessed Duhast. Where's Smeagol's army? Did it load up? It looks like it's in uh, in effect here. Does he have any siege? He does not. Mongols can't wall their wonder, though, so you can always kind of bum rush it if it's uh, open. Rams being built by the HRE, guys. We got three minutes and 43 seconds. You know, you can see the noticeable 
Uh, fatigue here, uh, probably packing up this prayer tent and moving it to the back would be good too to make sure you can maintain that passive income there. Orange landing a force here with some rams, good. They need to attack at the same time. That's what really needs to happen. HRE torching some buildings down. We do see that going and paying the troll toll as more rams move in from the north. Rabbity pulling back to the Wanderer, preparing. He's got three minutes left to hold. That is a big, big invasion force, ladies and gentlemen. Here it comes. I would imagine the other player is probably doing pretty good on resources as well. Yeah, they have, they have plenty. They have plenty. Henker still has 10,000 wood, so. He's diving the Wanderer, which I think just killing the towers here wouldn't be bad. His gravity is going to block him. There's enough choke points that he can keep him from uh, getting there. HRE pushing from the top. Uh, Smeagol's force is going to be arriving soon. They're, they're kind of like arriving at different times, which is making it way easier for gravity to hold. He could just like basically play whack-a-mole. This navy should be deleted at this point. You should delete this navy and um, land with like 30 villagers. Start panic build a keep here and then like, you know, get a big army landing with you as well. All right. So Ram's moving in from the HRE on the top. Making steady progress. I mean, the wonder is within sight of a ram. And Henkra is going to be landing again. Oh, man, the Chinese Dreadlord once again. He needs to get some infrastructure on this island right now. Like some, yeah, some some uh, a keep and some towers. Like, I don't know, maybe some uh, battering ramps would be good. He, he landed with 31 villagers. Yeah, pushes from all directions, guys. And Smeagol's coming from the bottom as well. This is going to be a tight hold. This is going to be very, very tight here. Currently, there's a couple mangonels and towers defending at the backside. But let's go ahead and look at the wonder progress again. So currently a minute and 58 seconds. Villagers at the ready to repair. Smeagol's force is getting hammered pretty hard. Um, I don't know if he got everything dropped. Did he? Yeah, looks like he did. Okay. So on the top side, the Holy Romans fighting against the core of the army. And the villagers are, are sprinting for the wonder. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like there's enough time to build some infrastructure. Although, I don't know. Yeah, a minute left is pretty bleak. Gravity barely holding on. Being attacked from all sides. Smeagol building battering rams on this side. He does have rams making it. And look at that. The villagers have arrived. And they're going to be torching the wonder. So villagers, the heroes that Gotham needs, getting some HP damage. Trebuchets would be clutch here. I think that's one thing that people have missed out, is building like 10 trebuchets and trying to get close and snipe it. But yeah, I think Uravity is going to be able to barely hold this. Although Uravity loses all of his villagers. Most of them go down. One minute left on the hold. Does he have any villagers left? Uravity does have nine villagers left. And there's a hell of a lot of rams getting close, guys. He's trying to stop it. No villagers nearby to repair. The villagers did get popped in the face. Currently looking here. One minute. Okay, it's about 50 seconds. Taking down some of the rams. He's very close to holding. Gravity needs villagers for the repairs. He does have some villagers repairing. Okay, he got them in. And it looks like the rams are going to be taken down here. Very, very tight. But at the end of the day, I think he's going to get it with 40 seconds left. Uh, the landing force here is coming. More rams. They actually got fairly close to getting that. That was very, very tight. We see orange landing with a little bit more pressure. Men-at-arms over here going to be doing it. Uh, he finally deleted his navy, which is good. Um, a little bit too late, perhaps. And yeah, you see, orange has the right idea. Coming with trebs. Um, but I think he's just too late to the party. Like, if these trebs have, had snuck up a little bit sooner... Like, look, they're in range of it. They could have potentially killed it if these trebs had been sooner. Oh, man, look at that. Big damage going to be coming in. Wow, down to almost half health. 18 seconds. Trebuchet's going. No way. No way he gets this. Oh my god, 13 seconds. Another trebuchet volley is going to go down in a moment. Gravity needs to just pounce on those trebs. Oh, oh no! He accidentally shot the stable instead of the wonder. Oh no! That might have actually given him a chance. Oh wow, he was so close. Oh, the misfire! I don't know. They were shooting the stable. It would have been close. I think Gravity still would have had it. Just barely. Wow. What a great game. What a great game. Now, if you guys enjoyed that, do drop a like. Drop a like for that hot Age of Empires action. That was super fun. Super fun. All right. Shout out to all the players this game. Everybody contributed to the fun somehow, right? It was great. Uravity with the epic hold. Smeagol with the Burgrave rush. Henkra surviving on the Middle Island. Like, there was, you know, obviously, we had a huge trade from Docks. Cohesion with some nice uh, little ambushes with his navy. It was just super fun. All right, I want you guys to take care of yourselves first and foremost. Go say hi to your loved ones, pet your pets, call a friend you haven't talked to in a long time. You guys know the jams. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for joining tonight. That was a lot of fun. We'll be back with some Age of Empires soon. And uh, for all of you guys who are hyped for Age of Empires in general, st stay, stand by. When the expansion comes out, we're going to be doing daily Age stuff probably for that week and also maybe replays and different things like that. So... It is going to be fun. Amazing hold by the Highlander, the Lord of Scotland. And that is going to be it for tonight. You guys take care of yourselves. Adios, Sophie Denia. Drop a like on the way out. Keeps Age of Empires rolling. GG, well played. See you guys.